Hello. Guess what? A hero has, has come in to take over where I have failed. Who could I'm this playing. hero be? <laughs> it's me. I'm the playing one. You're the playing one? I'm the one who plays. Chelsea might be done with Majora's Mask. <laughs> so I'm going to keep it up. Oh, that Matt Fib was me. I'm typing it in because I'm running the desk. I'm running the desk right now, so it was still Chelsea Gaslight ga Girl Boss Fib. Oh, I shouldn't have took that off. So I'm going to do what we got. We got the temple. We are at the temple. I'm going about to do Great Bay Temple. That last one took a while. What, that's getting a, here? That's a long, that's a long area. Yeah, the lead up to the temple is uh, is kind of long. If if I'm gonna quit playing Majora's Mask, it's during the egg collection. So I'm glad we're through it. You actually collected them really quick. Uh, we'll just start right in, get right into it, because I don't got much more. I don't got anything to do except do the temple for today. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done this one. I don't remember liking it particularly well, but I've been gaslit into thinking uh, that it's really good. So we have maybe one for you then, because Christian says I hate this dungeon. Okay, good. <laughs> Oh, we'll see. I'm a neutral party. It's been a while. Oh, am I turning up the road? What? Okay, I was messing with the audio on my end. So, again, I don't have fond, fond memories of this one, but everyone tells me, has gaslit me into thinking it might be good, so I'm going to look at it through new eyes. Whoa, that huge water wheel. Whoa, that huge water wheel. Thank you. I'm told that this is the best of all the water temples ever. The best ever? Yeah, it's so good. That's really high marks. That is really high marks. Does this work if I just shoot him? With... Please stop. I hate this dungeon, plus I played it on the laggy collector's edition port. So just imagine. <laughs> I'm playing it on the laggy Switch emulator, mm -hmm. so I can imagine. Well, that's more input lag, less game lag. Game's fine. It's, it's running at a, a sweet 20 FPS at all times. A tip-top 20 FPS. The so best you can get. this one's running it? Yeah, that's what this I game is. I can't even it. tell. It looks all the same to me. I don't have the sensitive eyeballs to pick up weird frame rate stuff. Hmm. Can I not collect? Hold on. I'm just taking a, a gander. I'm about to say, okay. I'm not gonna get these. I'm. Should I 100% this game or should I not? <laughs> I don't know. Should I worry about all these little stray fairies, or should I just, uh... Should do you want to come stuff? back and do them later? Oh boy, don't I. Oh boy, do I not want to... Because we, we could 100% it. By we, you mean it's me. loose me. It's loose me. <laughs> Chelsea will be there in spirit. I'll be here the whole like time. Like the sages of the previous games. I had some stuff I wanted to talk about in this one, too. I turn that one off. It feels like this temple is virtually impossible to learn by heart. You feel lost in every playthrough. <laughs> Which one of these knobs is me? Is it this first one? Do you feel low? Yeah. I feel low, dude. You're the first one. Okay, that's good. I'm never like in. There we go. I have to like hold it more up to my face. Okay, so I turn one off. That one's all rusty, fucked up looking. Let's see if I can push it. Oh, God damn it. Go down on the floor. Thank you. Okay, does this mean it's only one way then? That's a weird... Okay, that's a weird design of, because I would have just thought I, I couldn't use it. Luckily, I, I, I poke and prod at everything, but I would have just assumed I couldn't use it initially. Because a bit of it was missing? Yeah. Uh, so I made that go up. Good for me. 
Can you stand on it and get up high? Or can you not make it up there? Water wheel doesn't work. Might have to turn it back on. There's a red one. There's a red one over here. I don't have the arrow things yet. Can I dolphin leap? I do like how he spins when you turn a little bit. I think that's cool stuff. This music though leaves a little something to be desired. <laughs> Hey Matt, did you know that this game is actually about Link being dead? I did, I heard a few times. I heard secondhand through people who watch YouTube videos. <laughs> and only watch YouTube videos. There it goes, it's moving now. No, I do this one first. And then you jump this. And then you fuck it up and you gotta wait till it goes all the way down. And then you jump it. Oh my god, this song. So shook it in spooky the <laughs> spooky adult game. Dude, it's so deep, the two areas of the game that have atmosphere. <laughs> it's so deep. Alright. Also, this is Alex's favorite temple, which is why he's not here today. <laughs> Dude, is this the actual song? Yeah. Everyone who thinks this temple, get out of the room. Don't leave yet, just I yet. I can't. Don't leave, just metaphorically get out of the room. I can't believe you. Hmm, I get it, that huge water wheel is powering this thing. <laughs> Dude, it's nothing. The composer, the composer ghost tries to shoot Link away because he belongs to the living. The, the song is just as frustrating as the temple. <laughs> it's super shit. Yes, he is hanging out with Pizza Grandma. That's why he's not here. He said he has a tummy ache. But I think he's gaslight like girl bossing me. He is. He definitely is. I don't want to go down there yet. I wonder if this also uses the there's just invisible planes under the water that make you go in a circle. Oh, like pushing you again? I don't think so. It immediately worked. I like the temple music. It's more ambient. Feels industrial. It's just going. Boo it's a brown note. It's like the a brown note. <laughs> you must have thought that was really awesome. That song I just made up. There we go. Here's some noise. Here's some new noise. Hey! Baba Baba Booey. Baba Baba Oh, I have to go in there. That's right. You have to go into a. in the on air one. Okay, here you are. Baba 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 I don't know if he's too, or too loud at first. Where is he? Only one way to find out. <laughs> it's like thinking music. This is not thinking music. This is migraine music. <laughs> it's like thinking music. We all know how water works, Matt. But tell us about those mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> Koji Kondo probably wrote this theme in panic on the last day of development. <laughs> he started just slamming the keyboard. Oh, 
Oh, yo, fuck his. Fuck his arc. Arrested at Waffle House says they won't be there until later. Okay. They are at work. They made this music underwater, it sounds like. <laughs> Oh, well, he sure did shake me, <laughs> but it didn't do anything. They don't want you going in there. Yeah, I had to, I had to wreck him. <gasps> Look at you! Do you know what a really good water level is? Banjo-Kazooie. Clanker's Cavern. Clanker's Cavern. This is actually kind of reminding me of it. Watch while you work, skill issue bozo. <laughs> it's true. Oh, uh, something I noticed about the 3DS version of the swimming is you drop faster. So when you go to when you go to drop, when you go to dive, he like in, he like he almost like plummets to the ground instead He's of get the bubbles. instead of floating down. Get the bends? Is it the bends? Like you know, see how he floats down? Like you put on the uh, yeah, like you put on the iron boots, and um, and the new one, he like he just falls <laughs> faster, which is really nice. Chop his hand off, dude. Oh, is the bends only for coming back up? Yeah. Oh, I messed it up. Ah, oh. dude, throw him forward. <laughs> Just throw him forward. Just. Why you gotta be so extra? Oh my god! I kinda dig that he came to life. They never revisited that. This is like the only time I've seen that happen. This goddamn tiny hallway. Where'd the other one go? All right, get him. No. Okay. Do you? Is it better to do this? Does he throw him forward when you do that? Okay. Look pretty forward to me. Okay, I see. Oh, I do see his breasts now. When he run forward, he's like very wide, wide chested thing. He's built like a, like an old timey strongman. Yeah. <laughs> you shoot a cannon at his chest. <laughs> Oh, he need... is built like Elon Musk, <laughs> the fridge man. <laughs> he is. I thought of that. Uh, there's a picture of Elon stepping out of like a yacht or stepping on a yacht. Oh yeah, and he's built like a. <laughs> he's built like a barrel. <laughs> yeah. He's got that. Uh, he's got that Kylo Ren body. He does. Those skinny arm things look like the gross. It's when he's running. From look Disney. at his tits come out when he runs. They do. When they he stands like... still, they go in, sorta. And then when he when he gets that speed, his tits pop out. I wonder what that is. <laughs> it's nine months of, to work on the game. That's what that is. But that's like it's yeah, like he's wrong. he's skinny to the side. It's like it's skinned improperly. When like he when you walk, he, he gets all. S Whoa! <laughs> what was that? When you walk, he just. It's built, and then it pops down again, and then it expands again. What is going on with fucking Zora? And then when you run, his fucking titties are <laughs> pop out and flop down. Interesting point to come into. I mean, it's the game they made. Look at this. I bet the 3DS version doesn't have this problem. <laughs> okay, so when he stands still, he expands. <laughs> yeah. When he Hold on, I'm studying. <laughs> Get back, you. I'm studying. Okay. It's, it's all right. All right, when he, when he walks, when he starts walking, 
They get all he gets all thin chest. Mm-hmm. When he stands still, he puffs out, and when he runs, they just drop down. That's weird. Like those are actual like Tifa, <laughs> Tifa jubblies. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. I wonder why. Same with the swimming. Anyone got any uh, any Zelda lore that that explains that? Honestly, never noticed that before about the chest. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Fuck yeah. No map, but I know which way I'm facing now. <laughs> Alright, what else is in here? We got that. I gotta remember this. Whatever the fuck's going on there. Can I move these? Or is this for the ice arrow? It's probably ice arrow stuff. I guess that's the hint. Ice. Oh, and there's the, uh... That's the boss key. Now Matt's going to do a five-hour deep dive about the Zora mask having tits. <laughs> I may be the first person to notice. I'm the only one really looking. Okay, I came in through here, so I just pop down there, just take the take the current, and see where it, take it where it takes me. Oh, it probably does. Uh, using adult links bone rig animation. It's absolutely using adult link. It's 100% what it is. But why but why does his chest pop down? Is that what his tunic did? In the Did his tunic do that <laughs> in <laughs> Ocarina? In a circle. <gasps> right, I can't go that way. Ugh. I like the music in there, in the other room. Look fast music. Oh, never mind. It's the regular music. It ain't no forest temple, that's for sure. Can I kill these guys now? Pop up windowception. Open up. You gonna miss? Can I walk? I can, only sideways. Okay, well, that guy's gonna be impossible. Dude, there's so many. There's so many magic containers. I wonder if. <laughs> I wonder if it was. I guess for. Uh, for this. Is that how you kill him? I don't know. Let me surface. Where am I? What were you saying about magic containers? There's just so many magic containers, and I was wondering why. And I was starting to wonder if they always had the, wanted to have the Zora swim be set to magic, since the Goron roll is set to have use magic. Mm -hmm. But now I'm just wondering if it's for the shield. Oh, another thing I thought was interesting, and I wonder if we're in a bit of revisionist history, like how Kingdom Hearts, everyone says that Kingdom Hearts 2 is this crazy complex action game when it really only was when Critical Mode came out. Mm -hmm. And when that when Kingdom Hearts 2 came out, it was like definitely not that. It was it was made fun of for being press X and then sometimes triangle to fight. Um, I wonder if people used to bitch about the Zora swimming because there was a guy... I was watching an old video from like 10 years ago, so before the 3DS version came out, and he was referencing... He was, uh, he was, ta he was talking about Twilight Princess, and he was talking about the swimming, and he was referencing how the games have done swimming worse than Twilight Princess in the past, and then he immediately cut to the Zora swimming when he said that. So I wonder... I'd have to look, but I wonder if there was a time when the Zora swimming was considered shitty and clunky, and then now we're in a world where, no, it was actually the greatest mechanic ever developed in video games. Because you can dolphin dive, dude. So I do wonder if there's a bit of 
Now, I like it. I think the, the Zora swimming's fun. I didn't have any problem with it. But I wonder if that used to be... There was more complaints before. Twilight Princess's swimming also wasn't bad. You just paddle with your legs. What did they think was good swimming? Twilight Princess. Oh, Twilight Princess was good swimming? Yeah. Why was this one bad? Well, he was, he was referencing clunky swimming. Oh. And then he pointed out this. And I wonder if that was that a common take back then? And then now it's it just kind of not. Um, again, I think it's fine. So I'm not 100% sure if it was a common take or not. I always considered Zora's swimming fun. Yeah, I think it is. But I wonder if like that's what people were talking about 10 years ago on forums. Maybe that's how you end up with the Zora swimming being changed because more people actually bitched about it or something, or the vocal ones were bitching about the Zora swimming being like clunky. I don't know. It's a weird thing they did. Get on the Hydra's back. Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I wonder what would have made this one clunky in his eyes. That person you were watching. It is in tight spaces, because you go zero to a hundred. Oh, just that? But that's not clunky. Uh, because the footage he showed was, was, uh, was Link bonk bonking off shit. Like, I guess he picked up speed and then bonked. And it does have a weird pause, and then it's, then it launches you. Yeah. Um, again, I don't mind it, but maybe someone who's not... Oh, there's like a boss in here, isn't there? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> And then they nerfed it, and now the good swimming part requires magic. <laughs> I didn't nerf it. I don't think they nerfed I was just looking at footage, and the, 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 the medium swimming is... Well, in this one, you have two modes. You have swim at high speed or float up <laughs> when, you, when you move forward. Mm -hmm. uh, in the 3DS version, you have the ability to, to move at a medium pace. He doesn't just... He doesn't just uh, float upwards, and when you go to land, he lands faster. The only, the only negative, everything else is an improvement. The only negative is mana consumption, and that's not even that bad because you get, for one, it's not an upgrade, but it's not as bad as people claim it is because you, you really, you don't lose magic that fast. Um, there's a thing where you can get infinite magic at, at Chateau Romani. You get the, uh, you can get the best milk, which gives you infinite magic for, like, a three-day cycle. Uh, and in a game where you do con- you constantly, like, prep for the day, I don't think it's a big deal to ask people to go get that if they really, really want to Zora swim all the time. Yeah. Like, before they do the Great Bay section. Uh, cause it's only, like, 100 rupees or something. Like, it's not that much. It's either 100 rupees or 200 rupees. I should probably play better. Um... So it's not that bad, and it's like, oh, dude, that's an extra step, and it's like, this game's full of extra steps, shut up. <laughs> you know, do you, are we playing the same game? The least ask is probably to prep for the day, or the week, the three-day week. It does, it does add a, it adds a use for the magic meter, which, again, the magic meters in these games are pretty underutilized, so having one where you have to actually... Did you ever make the day go slow? Did I? I might not have. I don't know if you did, because it's already dinging, and <laughs> I feel on. like we just started. Hold on. <laughs> just make sure it's the right one. No, it is, it oh, is it normal. It is, it is. Okay, you're good. I'm just going slow. <laughs> I guess for how fast Zora Link goes in the Nintendo 64 version, it feels like how a hero aesthetic Zora would swim. Yeah, but you can do it. People act like it doesn't exist in the 3DS version, and it does. And you can do it all the time if you just get the one the one drink. And again, it's not asking that much. One, it gives a use for that drink, because that drink has no use. Mm -hmm. um, it, it makes it that there's now a, a level of, uh, if you don't have it, you now have to use it wisely, which is decision making, which is in more interesting to me. Um, when you do use it, it, it's instant. So when you, let me fight this guy. Just fight I... him quick. I'm getting my ass beat because um. You're getting your ass beat by swishy PNGs. <laughs> yeah. 
But people act like it doesn't exist. Or that because it uses magic, you never use it. And it's like, it barely uses magic. <laughs> it doesn't use that much magic. They might just want to swim all the time. And you can! <laughs> just buy the thing! Or, mo or if you're in the dungeon, you're probably gonna constantly get green... green potions anyway. You can also buy green potions at the start of, like, the day. One dude sells them, I think. And it's like, you're playing, like... And the other thing is weird is, like, this whole game... This whole game is about things you have d diminishing. Um, you constantly lose all of your fucking, uh, you know, arrows, bombs. Time is always diminishing. And then all of a sudden, for some reason, they add the, that same kind of diminishing element to, uh, to the Zora swimming. And holy fuck... Well, how could you? How dare you? What the fuck? Um, I fucking hate this game. This game's shit. And it's like that. It's not that bad. I don't. Everyone's over exaggerating or never played the game. Is Matt about to die? Are we going to be embarrassed at Matt? <laughs> it's because I'm yelling again about people about secondhand opinions. I think my biggest issue with like um, the YouTube and online and the current state of like people how they talk about video games is I never feel like I'm talking to a person who has actual opinions. I feel like I'm talking to seven YouTube videos. Like, I feel like nobody's opinions are from them anymore. And I feel like the reason I get so irked by the Majora's Mask take is because I feel like that's a perfect example of, like... I think Majora's Mask as a whole is a perfect example of of opinions that aren't people's because they're just, like, YouTube's opinions. Like, I don't think I've, I've heard... I'm hearing anyone anymore about this game. I, I feel like I'm just listening to... Am I winning? What's going on? Holy fuck. I feel like with Majora's Mask in general, I feel like half the discussions are about a game that doesn't even exist, that people made up in their head. Um, well, I mean, I've seen it personally. There's I, two. I've there, seen when a new video comes out, and then within a week, everyone's already repeating the yeah, statements I, from the video. And it, it like fact. really, it like gets under my skin because I, I feel like I'm not talking to anyone anymore. I feel like everyone's basically a robot because they just repeat what they've heard from YouTube videos. I feel like I've never heard anyone's real opinion on any of this, because I never hear anyone talk about the 75% of this game that's not atmospheric, not not good. Mm -hmm. It's all about how dark and atmospheric this game is, and there's two locations that are dark and atmospheric. <laughs> it's it's Clock Town and Romani Ranch. Everything else is a normal-ass Zelda game with like very little atmosphere. So I feel like I'm hearing, like, everyone's talking about a game that's not even real okay, at this point. Have you considered looking up old forums around the time? I of this have. Game I'm going to. Out? That's what I, I was thinking about this earlier. Okay. Of uh, of going in and being like, actually, what was the of the times? What was the consensus? What was the consensus? And not this reverse engineered consensus. Because I feel like I can I could probably go to GameFAQs, just go to like the earliest posts and start actually seeing what people are saying about this game when it came out. And that would be I think that would be interesting because I feel like there is a lot of re revisionism in. Revisionism, revisionist history, or whatever in in games now. Again, I think I think Kingdom Hearts has it bad. I think people acting like Kingdom Hearts was always the greatest. Kingdom Hearts Two was the greatest combat game ever made. That is a recent opinion and not true of when the game came out. It's it's. But then people acting like that was always the case and shit because they watched their favorite YouTuber. Uh, I think the the floaty debacle with Kingdom Hearts is totally a fucking YouTuber driven debacle um i think kingdom hearts 3 plays completely fine i think anyone who says that kingdom hearts 2 is plays so much better than kingdom hearts 3 has never actually played the game and they're in fucking discord <laughs> and they're telling me they're telling me about game cred and they ever never even fucking played kingdom hearts 3 um that's what i'm talking about nexus <laughs> there's a bunch of reviews but i feel i feel like i never hear real opinions anymore I don't know if I'm because I'm being fucking schizo about it. But, You're being girl boss, dude. But I do feel like I'm being a little bit, a little bit gate kept girl boss. I wanted to go down further. I usually don't look up videos, so I don't have this problem that Matt has. I feel like opinions were more interesting when I heard more than the same one over and over and over again. I feel like, but I, I feel like Majora's Mask and then the talk about Majora's Mask 3D are two perfect examples of like you guys never played it. You're, you get, people are acting like you can't even use the Zora swim. <laughs> and like, when you it's look not... up with Link's hookshot, it looks like he has H cup boobs. Oh, it is. Did his tits really come out for that? I love Me I love Mega 64's videos where they read old forum posts, but in a form of Shakespearean theater. 
It shows what folks were thinking back then. My favorite one is about the reveal of the, and then the unknown Wind Wager. Look at this kid so club, man. <laughs> I'm going to this kid so corner. I'm hanging out with the Kiryu GIF now. I don't want to be part of it, anything anymore. <laughs> I just want to play Yakuza. So you're not returning to Monkey. You're returning I'm, I'm, to I'm Kiryu the, GIF. I, Vic Sauce was right. Just don't do any. Just play Yakuza. <laughs> Stop playing other things. Just play Yakuza in the schizo corner. <laughs> it's better there. But yeah, that'd be a good idea. Um, going in and actually looking up old forum posts to see if like where did because again, I I don't think people people used to really fucking hate the time mechanic, but ever since YouTube videos came out on this, now everyone's like it's genius, it's perfect, everything, it's so beautiful, it really makes me think about time and stuff. It and, doesn't. We were all twelve. Yeah. What time is there to think of when you're 12? I remember people be really hating it. <laughs> I remember it being the thing that held a lot of people back from playing this game. Maybe, uh, maybe. And it had its defenders, of course. It wasn't maybe like everyone Gen hated A on it. is thinking about that stuff now because they're having a whole issue with time. Maybe you'd feel better if you played Thief 3 Deadly Shadows. Maybe. <laughs> Isn't that the bad one or is that the new one? Go in the hole! Melifan says, no, I get Matt. I do get where he's coming from about people mostly basing their opinions on videos and essays. It's pretty much all YouTube is right now. But also, you have to... We're both schizo. You have to understand, <laughs> Join us. when you watch these video essays, the person doing the essay is just Might be a, a dumb person. fuck. <laughs> yeah. They are just a regular person writing an essay. <laughs> They're just some motherfucker padding out their high they school essay. They do not get more credibility by making a longer <laughs> essay, okay? That's the only thing you have to keep in mind with those. They're just a complete random person who, like ourselves, have Google searched information yeah. to put in an essay. <laughs> Nobody talks about the 75% of this game that's nuts. <laughs> Not nearly as interesting or dark. Ash has a good point. Watch less YouTube, please. There you go. I think I need to do that, too. That's mainly for Matt. Not for me. I just watch the same couple content creators over and over again until I get upset with them and then abandon them. Then I wouldn't know if you guys are telling me opinions from a uh, YouTube video. Because <laughs> most of the opinions, I, I know them because I've seen the video. Uh... One of the problems is Digital Foundry. Oh, I fucking hate Digital Foundry. You can tell passion. who watches Digital Foundry and who doesn't because all of a sudden they'll start talking about anti-aliasing and other things they don't actually know, you know what it means. Frame pacing. There we go. Well, they'll be like, they'll be like, oh, this version sucks because when you zoom in 4,000% onto this pixel, it's blurry. And it's like, and are people like, they'll, they won't take away the right information. I don't think Digital Foundry is the problem. I think all it did was fuel the console wars that shouldn't even like exist anymore the fucking console did two goddamn same fucking box but people are still having them because of these stupid digital foundry videos or they'll be like this game this game now sucks because uh at this one section it skipped a little bit and like what they're not saying is that that one section was was one two minutes in a 25 hour video game it stinks frame pacing never heard of that one yeah, you got 24 frames in a second, and they're paced differently on that second. No, it's well, it's different than that. Oh, it's different than that? But it is about them not being evenly paced. It's just the frames aren't evenly paced, which sometimes feels like, even though, it, even if it goes at 30 FPS, it'll still feel like it's stuttering. If you've ever played yeah. Bloodborne, it's a good example of it, because it's not actually dropping frames, but it still kind of feels like it's dropping frames because of frame but pacing. Little, but also just play the fucking game. They'll put a little number counter on the screen. And you'll get to watch the frames yeah. go up and down. Like, that truly matters in any way. Alright, we get good. Now I missed this one, so I'm reading it now. Matt, what you're saying is the same shit that was talked about at MGS2. About it how was. much one's opinion is original and how much is just someone else's. Um, I've said that, I've used that as an example before. I would always, I would say, is that is that your idea or something Snake ta told you? I've used that as an example. Is that something you thought or something just Snake told you? Is that something you thought or is that something that uh, Narrow told you? <laughs> like, 
Are those your opinions or are they just Nerol's opinions? That's the exact... Dude, that... I mean, all that shit's haunting. Um... And that's yeah, that's the big one that like and I, I when I when we played that recently, it really fucking that would that line really stuck with me. The are those your thoughts or just what Snake told you? I have mixed feelings on that ending in that game because it comes out of fucking nowhere. It does, and it's weird. It's super weird. And then you have a regular boss fight that's kind of really easy and stupid. I just, at this point, I just really like that one cutscene with the, uh, that one combo with the AI. It's, like, really cool. <laughs> it's, it's the most haunting thing in the game. I like the gameplay, though. I think the gameplay of the second game is my favorite. These goddamn... It's also very ballsy. This guy? No. Oh. I mean, he is, yes, but... <laughs> I mean, to basically have a video game with a non-ending, kinda, and then just a, yeah. thro a throwaway boss fight. <laughs> There's a game that definitely... Now, that one doesn't have revisionist history, but anyone who acted like everyone knew it was genius when it first came out is, like, do totally lying. <laughs> Same thing about it anyone who says that they loved Roxas. No yes. one liked Roxas. <laughs> yes, that's who said that. Nobody. I'm thinking of Nexus oh. right now. <laughs> no one liked that Roxas section at first. No. Anyone who says they loved it the first time is fucking lying. They wanted to be Sora and Donald and Goofy. Don't pretend you were a fucking philosopher at the age of 12. Nobody cared about Roxas at all until later games. Probably the one oh with Shion in it. That's probably one that made Roxas much more important. That was later. Which is much later. Just, uh, just Cursed Farms is the only channel I watch that's about games rather than Let's Play style content. Oh my god, why can't I do this? I remember watching that specific Kodak call back in 2010s on my PS2. It was like a holy shit moment. <laughs> well, when it came out, like... oh, FF10's laughing scene. So we're gonna oh, up with another one. oh, the laughing he scene. He says it's cringe as fuck even in context. It's no, like it's the... not. <laughs> You're stupid then. Who said that? That's Dorgo. You're admitting you're stupid. <laughs> it's a fake laugh, and they, they call it cringe. <laughs> they call it cringe in the game. You're not smarter than the game. <laughs> you're all stupider. <laughs> you're all stupider. Says, you're stupid. Ishra says Dorgo's wrong. <laughs> Dorgo's wrong. That scene is, is, is way better, but because... It's all. That's a great example of a second-hand opinion. That's that's directly that's all, tied to Spoony. <laughs> that's yeah. If you if you say that that fucking scene's cringe, I know you've never played it. I know you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. You've only saw it online in some video. That one went really far too, where they had to. The the actor who did the actor that? Told, what came out is it it's, it's a fake laugh you fucking he idiots. says i know how to laugh it's a fake <laughs> laugh on purpose there's a real laugh in the same scene where he act he does a real well he's acting but he there's a real laugh after the fake laugh i'm gonna die again they laugh one second later yes. yeah <laughs> is it the acting it's just the laugh. They just clip the laugh. Yeah, they they don't show the part where he does a real fake laugh after that. Anyone who anyone who thinks that scene's cringe or brings it up as cringe is is outing themselves as a person who never played the game. Dorgo. Has no actual brain. Dorgo. <laughs> has no thoughts for themselves and is basically a robot. <laughs> and is complete is crippled by the amount of YouTube they watch. It's objectively cringe. It's not. It's actually kind of sad. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually really sad in that scene. If you're smart, you realize Yuna is, is fake laughing because she knows she's going to die. And she didn't tell that to, Ti to Titus. And Titus is fake laughing because he knows his father is the thing they're going to go kill. Spoilers. Who's also, he's not telling Spoilers. her that. So they're both fake laughing over, over what is essentially a really fucking nightmarish situation. I mean, I'll have to see if I like it when I play it. 
And anyone who doesn't like Titus is stupid too. And he doesn't even know he isn't a real boy. <laughs> he doesn't even know he's not real yet. <laughs> you guys are gonna make me die again. <laughs> How many fucking tadpole? How that's many eggs a, is there? Do I have to fight at the same time? Yeah, that's a the Titus one's a great example. Yeah, that's like one of the most secondary secondhand opinions ever. Get out of the corner. Get out of the corner. Go, my pretty fly. Oh, is he going the corners? He's deep oh, this is anyway. tough. It is. You're gonna have to get rid of some of these. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. You should, um, <laughs> it might be too late, but you should buy a potion. It's too late. Titus has the same voice actor as Wooldor, Sockbat, and Johnny Test. And, uh, Ratchet? and Ratchet. Yeah. Ratchet, Ratchet, and Clank. What I don't remember is the middle of FF9. <laughs> That's an interesting game to talk about. I like that game. <laughs> Which one's mind. that? Is that the one with the cat boy? I didn't beat that one, though, all the way. I got all the way to the very end of the game, and then I just stopped. I got all the way... I just fought uh, the hyper version of the that effeminate dude that keeps talking shit. <laughs> what I forget what his name is. It's been a while. Yeah, the, and uh, after, you, after Zidane finds out who he really is... I remember... There being a dog, the 13th dog. The start of the game is awesome, though. I remember the entire start with the festival. That, yeah, it's so good. I remember it particularly well because um, we rented it from Block Blockbuster, but some fucking caveman must have played it before us because the second disc was scratched. And uh, anytime I tried to switch to the second disc, the game no longer worked. So I ended up just playing the beginning over and over and over again for the week. So I know that whole beginning, like, by heart. It's so good. It's fine. That whole beginning was basically as long as Crash Bandicoot, so I, was, I felt like I was getting a lot of value. I got to the end of FF8 and stopped at the end with the Space Witch. I've, I've attempted to start that game like, how many times now? A couple. It's. <laughs> I'm on like my third or fourth try to to give a weird, shit about that's Final what's Fantasy VIII. Scroll. What the fuck is his name? Squall. Yeah. That's him, right? And Rena? Dude, he's a piece of shit. He's really aggressively an asshole. I don't know if he gets better by the end. One of my problems with it, I only watched up to where Matt got, and the game really doesn't, it's not going anywhere. That's the <laughs> no. weirdest part. <laughs> no. It has no real good hook. I'm just kind of doing, it's got a stupid premise of fucking, of fucking military high school. It's the most anime bullshit uh -huh. thing I've ever seen. It's so lame. Um, yeah, I just, don't, I just don't care for military high school. So the, the idea of, like, your first test is a real war. And it's like, what the fuck is going on? This is so lame. And they don't even point out that, like, okay, do we find out we're the bad guys? Because is this, like, Starship Troopers? I don't know if they do that later. Like, are we actually the bad guys? Um, I don't know. I didn't get that far. But I, I just, I the premise of... High school, high school military people who have tests where they actually go out and fight and kill people uh, was wild. It was a little too much for me to. It was a little too much for me to. Uh, Leave his ass there. He's stuck. Just keep going. Yeah, he's gonna come up as soon as I fucking cross this, isn't he? Uh. <laughs> it was a little too much for my like, for me to just. What is it called? Turn my brain off. Mm -hmm. He gets. I actually like the combat he though. Dies, and then the whole second half is his dying hallucination. They find out that it literally never comes up again. That's an, that's not true. The the the, the squall is dead thing isn't real. That's an internet. He may be making a goof because he's got it. the face. He put a little face. Oh, next okay. To he's it. doing he's doing a little he's doing a little link is dead. <laughs> That sound, I, in fact, I think, I think the, like, someone high up, I just saw, like, a thing on this recently, where, uh, the guy, 
the guy saw that he's like, yeah, we know about that theory and we wish we came up with it <laughs> because it's a pretty good theory. <laughs> it makes it, it makes it make more sense. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that th it wasn't, it wasn't Squall is dead. It was, uh, that Renoa is the, the evil witch lady. I'm going second hand, so I'll admit it that I don't know 100%. Well, it was, it's also probably a translation. Or Ultim Ultimia, whatever the fuck her name is, the Super Witch, that that's actually Renoa. And he was like, no, that's not true, but it's pretty good. <laughs> it sounds like a cool story. Oh my god. Why can't I handle these PNGs? Freya Crescent, the rat woman, that's a dragoon class, is another character I enjoy. I like her personality. From... I, <laughs> I didn't even have to look who wrote it. Oh, you know? Because <laughs> I know who Freya is. You like the dog lady, you like the dog lady with the snout? She's cool. She's one of the better ones. <laughs> I knew exactly who said it. It's like, ah, yes, the furry. <laughs> the furry girl with the, with the long snout. <laughs> She's probably one of the better characters. They should add. Her do you think they should add like talking to that? Like the cutscenes don't have any voice acting. Yeah, they don't. You think they should add it? Yes. Uh, I don't know how. It was on PS One. They have to retroactively remake them. <laughs> yeah. If they, I mean, those that could, those would be great to remake. They probably it's all will at sound some point. Effects. I don't think there's any sounds of people. I don't mind those games though, because they could write way more. It was so much cheaper to just make dialogue back then. I don't want games to cost five hundred million dollars <laughs> to no. make. And Square's gonna go under because all their games cost too much. Just put out like a retro. Actually, do the Zelda thing and just put out a game that doesn't have voice acting now. but looks a lot nicer. That's why AI voice acting would be so powerful. It would, but don't that's try a to punch them. That's a, that's a bridge people aren't crossing. Or probably Mainly because the bridge fell down. <laughs> Should I get rid of all these things on it before it goes into its other mode? Is that possible, or is he just gonna go into his other mode? I'm gonna try not to hit his eye. I'm gonna change up my strat. Cause when he goes in when the- When you're backing up and you throw those, you tend to do better than running up to punch him. These just have a weird arc. They do kind of come back when you're, up. When you're backing up, they tend to hit it though. Uh oh. Oh jeez. Like cause they tend to follow you or whatever. Modders have been using it though against people's wishes mostly, the AI stuff. What strat? You're being gigabad. <laughs> There's no strat. <laughs> I'm trying to just shave off all these eggs. Because <laughs> when uh, when his eyeball stops floating around, oh, you cut him good. It that drops time. all of its eye its its fucking eggs on me. And then it becomes a real problem. If you just keep like reversing, that seems to work out well. And some of these barrels. It's almost day two. <laughs> just hit him in the eyeball. No. Well, you left all of them up on top. No! <laughs> just fling them. Fling them into the swarm of, and back up. There you go. Just keep doing that. You got a lot of health this time. Why did, you, did everyone just see Matt go into the middle of the swarm? <laughs> uh oh. It's a fucking mess. Is there any hearts inside those little bottle things? Oh my god! Throw them! <laughs> I think you got mostly all of them there. There you go. It's also, you know, <laughs> the camera's not helping. 
Oh my god! Oh my god! Don't I try can't to punch see. him! Don't try to punch him! I can't see anything. Get out of there! Go! I can't see nothing. Like where is he right now? What are you trying to say? There you go. Just hit him! Just hit him! Oh my god, and then you get locked into that camera? There, jeez. Oh, he breaks. He closes his eye, you know? Oh my god, what is up with his fight? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I just want to be able to see! I don't know where he is! He's probably almost dead. Oh! <laughs> Lock on! He can't. He doesn't have an eye open. Oh, cool. So I just can't see anything. This is like one of the worst fights ever. <laughs> this fight super sucks. What are you supposed to do? He just moves around. I'm gonna waste the whole like day on this guy. This Matt Strat is as cringe as Titus is laugh in that scene. But Matt is supposed to be bad. This is intense, so he can be he isn't bad, whatever. Shut up. He died to the one ball in the room. <laughs> I can't see it. I don't know if you know this, but uh I don't have control of the camera. I'll give it some slack for being like in an early game with lock on. Yeah. But having to wait for the fairy to fly over to lock on. While also having an enemy that like flies around the way it is. It's, it's brutal. It really is. That that distance that she has to fly is too long. It's way too long. Oh, uh, this nerf this hook shot is, is nerfed from Ocarina. Can you do the hook shot and look up? You used to be able, you used to be able to hit these guys from the front. Oh my god, it's day two already. <laughs> mm -mm. I believe in his Zora strat. Hope there's not. Well, I think I probably. It's probably the mid boss, so I probably. I probably get a. Uh, the ice arrows. I think there's two of these turbine rooms. I'm not 100% sure. I just keep going this way because it's the way that gets me there. Oh no, there's only one. I just need to kill this guy. If I have to reset, it's fine because I'll have the ice arrow. It's kind of nice, you know? It's not like I've done much. It's gonna take me like all day to beat this one fucking eyeball guy. It's the eyeballs run! <laughs> it's not my run anymore. If I if I lose again, I'll teleport out of here, go get some fucking drank, and then come back and then win and then get the ice arrows. And if I waste too much time doing that, I'll just reset back to day one. <laughs> and then we'll... Believe in the darkly that believes in you, Matt. First try this egg boss. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> How is the eyeballs run not on the soundtrack yet? <sighs> That's a good one. That is a good one. Shit. Do I have anything else that can help me? If I use the bow, is it better? If I turn it, am I... Am I, should I just turn into a fucking Goron and just crush all those eggs? You think I'm thinking about it all wrong? I don't think there's enough room to get up to speed. Should I just become Link and then just attack the eggs when they're... Can you bomb him? Would that work? Well, not now. I don't want to do that now. I, I do need to keep up this strat. Chelsea, Chelsea. What? 
fart soundboard this man? <laughs> like, can I even attack? Can I attack these guys? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll just try to switch to Link after these eyeballs come off. But I'll probably end up going worse. Alright, here we go. It's big brain time. I can barely hear that one. Fart sounded great though. Fart was really nice. Can you can you hear this one? Here, let me turn this up actually. I need you to hear this one. It's up all the way. Alright, give me a second. It's gonna be really loud. Can you hold on, give me a second. Can you hear this one? <laughs> Can you hear that one? I heard that one. <laughs> okay, I'll turn That's a good one. Back. That's a good one for the board. I could be good at games if I want to. Why is it so low? I think it's just uh, your Discord's low. Actually. That one might need to be remastered into a, a high volume. Ah, oh, I need to increase all their volumes. I think Matt could do it right now. I don't think he's gonna struggle enough for me to have to fart soundboard him. Is this boss harder than the actual boss? Oh, you know what? Matt's also considered a big mod. I may be able to go in and... <laughs> it's so low. It's as high as it could go. Maybe it's... You turned it up in the little volume thing? Yeah, and your Discord's like maxed out. Oh, damn. Even in the... Even the little next to the speaker, you can adjust the volume inside Discord? I have it turned down pretty low. What do you mean? If you go at the top... Top right corner? There's like a speaker, and you can uh, you can increase the volume of all the the sound drops. Oh, I don't know where this is. Top right corner doesn't have anything. On the little sound, on the little soundboard pop up, like the panel, and all the sounds come oh, up. Oh, that's it. There we go. You had it way turned down. Now hit me with that. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, there we go. Now, here we go. I'm turning this up. I can be good at games if I want to. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Now it's good. <laughs> what hatches out of these eggs? Just more eyes? <laughs> I got it. So the settings got to go all the way up for this. But some of them are really loud. Some of them are. It's the... Baba Booey. Like, Baba Booey's <laughs> a bit loud, huh? <laughs> It'll have to be remastered and uh See this part's easy. I have no issues with it. I'd say this. they're both easy, but really awkward and frustrating. <laughs> I think it's the it's this fucking this arc here where they come out. And waiting for my fairy. If they just went straight, it'd be so much easier. I think it's also that you have to attack in order to throw these, so it makes it a little awkward. Went straight for his eyeball. And you're stuck in this camera. The best camera ever? You're, you're stuck in the... Oh, shit. Um... Get out of there. <laughs> it's left you speechless. Stay away from me. I have something to discuss then about this game later. Oh, yeah. I thought of something yesterday when we ended the stream. <laughs> Get excited, because it's not positive. about <laughs> Majora's Mask. I, I'm going to try to pronounce your name right. Arius? How do you feel about Majora's Mask? That would make you feel better, Matt. 
stealth running some autom aut automatons and hell divers too. <laughs> it would. It'd feel really good. Well, I mean, the internet works now, so you could totally do that. It's again. a really good game. Why does he have so many eyeballs? Little They're eggs. Oh man, a good game with a question mark. <laughs> I like good games. <laughs> Is that what you wanted to do? Spin! Here's what I wanted to do. I like it. Nice, nice. Fuck all of you! Fuck all of you! <laughs> Fuck you too! I think he actually wanted to be- Alright, there's only one thing in the fucking room now. He wanted to be Mellowfin earlier. Like, much earlier. Oh, I love how you- You just- you can't- when You're it closes. stuck at the ice temple in the Goron's place? Oh my god. What part- what- Okay, oh, you're just, getting shot in Just the navigating the ice temple? Cause I just did that. Was it two days ago? Yesterday? Okay, that doesn't work either. You have to wait for the one the one shot when he zipped across the floor. But I can't see him most of the time. I don't know, what do you want? Because the camera sucks. Are the corners safe? Does he ever hit a corner? Yeah, if I stay here, does he never hit the corners directly? What a fucking crazy guy, dude. Fuck you. Nice. I hated that. Where's the wine? I can see why you didn't do this the first time. It wouldn't make you look comically horrible at this boss. <laughs> I got the ice arrows. You've done it. Now, hold on, I have to turn this down because I know this one's kind of loud. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Feels good. I didn't like that fight. I didn't like that fight with this camera. <laughs> you did it now, though. I did like spinning, though, and hitting all those eggs. That felt good. <laughs> I tried spinning, it was it was a good trick. It did work really well. Oh, someone else is doing a first time playthrough right now. Here's an interesting thing about uh, this game. It doesn't have the usual like- What was like, in the chest that you just got? Oh, ice, ice arrows. arrows. This game doesn't have because you just get arrows in this in the dungeons, it doesn't have the like. They don't tell you about this. Usually, these the Zelda games would. They would. Uh, have a they'd have, they'd have a little room where you can yeah you can learn how to do it. Oh man, that's tiny. There's one thing I like, the snow oh, did, thank it, God I did, that. did it too. <laughs> I wouldn't have known. When the snow gets in your face, do you see the the, the noisiness of the water ripples? Yeah. I really like that. The snow had it too. The, they're lucky I shot that guy. I would have just killed him normally and never done it. Yeah. I'm lucky I shot that guy. Mm -hmm. At this point, I've accepted y'all's perspective on this game and I'm just here for the ride. Well, I have another, another thing to bring up later. But I don't know if it's a hot topic or not. I've only ever really seen people talk about Clock Town. I've also only... And again, Clock Town is good. Yeah. You see the... Do you see the noise? I still like this game. The noise I just on don't, the water? I just like it more when I think about it than I do when I actually play it. What about it? I like it. Do you oh. see the water ripples? The noisiness? Yeah. Shit.
Now the the wiggliness they could maybe tone down just a little bit. I don't even think they didn't fix it in the 3ds if version they, either. If they could go back, I went in to time. see if they if they toned it down. I don't think they did not. It's very extreme, especially if you jump out of the water, come back in, jump out, come back in. It's like you're in Ripple City. Okay, I need to probably use my ice arrows somewhere. I know how to beat Ocarina of Time very easy, but not this game. This game is confusing. <laughs> I agree. It just doesn't really tell you much. You have to kind of solve stuff uh, on your own. I have a little hint. Play the 3DS version. It has, uh, if you do get stuck, it has a, a system of hints to tell you kind of where to go next and push you in the right direction. Which this game doesn't. Now I would never use it because I'm not a wimp. I'm not but a it is feeble minded nice wimp it. brain wimp. It's nice to have it if you need it. But it is I, I would have used it. But it is nice to have it would stop people from quitting. Or even looking up a guide. Which I think is better. Cause once you once you start looking at guides, like once you break that barrier, it it you just keep doing it. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people once they once they look up one thing, then they they spend a lot less time before looking up uh, the next thing. So it's better that the game if the game just gives you a hint than than a hint feature. Yeah. Now I have a theory. I don't know if it's true, but I have a theory. The reason they got rid of your ability to place these wherever is because Link has a weird jump arc, and maybe people were fucking it up. But it seems pretty simple. So maybe, I don't, maybe I'm wrong there. I think you can... Are you trying to get up there? Nah, they're just dumb. Because I'm wondering why they got rid of the ability to do that in the 3DS version. Unless it was just... People never even couldn't even figure out that they had to do that in the first place. I mean, they didn't tell you. No, they didn't tell they me. They didn't even show you that you could. You'd have to assume that you could. You'd have to just... Yeah, you'd have to figure it out. Which is fine, it's a Zelda game. Oh, you're right, we're not doing that. Mm -mm. Ain't no time. Yeah, it seems pretty easy. I don't see how people would fuck that up. Can you only really put them in certain spots? No, you can put them wherever. Did they have a description by chance, the ice arrows? Oh, I might have missed it. In the menu. There's probably a stray fairy in one of those. Did you ever get the the head? Yeah. You did. This will uh, light up when there's a stray fairy near you, and then it will uh, it'll come to you if they're in the room. Oh, the info button. Did you hit the info button? Or is it freeze? That's all it says. I guess freeze could be your... Okay, it's so like this guy. Do I shoot him with ice arrows? It seems like anyone I shoot... Oh, he turned into a forever cube. It's a weak hint. <laughs> I guess it counts. <laughs> like it's enough, I guess. I don't know. They're lucky I shot that one guy. I would have been stuck here if I didn't just happen to have these equipped. What's the timing on this? All right, I hit another thing. The red one? Yeah, that got me something. I'm sure. I 
Oh, what I was talking about with the swimming. Um, you get two modes. In the 3DS version, you get three. In this one, you get surface, which always makes you go upwards. If you want to go down, you have to dive again. So if you don't want to go super fast, you have to do this. Up and down, up and down. Which the 3DS version gives you one where you don't have you don't have to do this. This sucks. This super sucks. And then you have the other option is to go really fast, which for the most part is fine, unless you're in a tight space, in which you'd probably want to do this. In which case you have this weird awkward. So I do think the third option is nice. And I, I and I don't think the I don't think the using magic is a problem, but I don't see it as a as necessary either. I'm not sure why they did it, but because people just got people mad. But I don't think it's as big of a problem as people act like it is. Because that's all I hear when I when I see comments. It's just like, yeah, but the Zora swimming, but the I used to love just going around and Zora swimming. It was my favorite thing in the whole game. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right, buddy. All right. Pal. All right, pal. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was your favorite thing in the whole I'm wide certain. world. I'm certain. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you all you, you spend hundreds of hours just swimming. Hey, I was here before. <laughs> yeah. I remember the spot. Yeah, I'm going. I'm not your pal, but Oh, there's a chest here. It's probably got a stray fairy in it. Oh, they broke the, they break their own leaves. That's cool. I mean, I want to get the stray fairy. Let me waste my time. Put the hat on. Oh wait, no, I need this. No, he's gonna drown. Do you know what my favorite part of this Zelda game was, Matt? The swimming. Dorgo. It was the swimming. Was it's the swimming. <laughs> you fucking you swam for days and days. Me and the boys used to all turn on our N64s and go Zora swimming for it's hours. It's the same thing as every single Zelda game. <laughs> what? <laughs> we used to have LAN parties. We would somehow connect our... We used to just connect our N64s together to go swimming. Not playing circles. it. I've never played a Zelda game. <laughs> That's your favorite part? What happened to these plant guys? Are these in any other Zelda game? I don't know, they're good. It's a good... It's a good addition to their usual thing. It's subversive. He's strong as shit. What the fuck? He was hurting me. This is not a joke, I have a plan. What's the plan? Okay, I'd have to probably kill everybody. Do I need this fairy? Am I actually gonna do it? But it could be something else. It could be a key. Whose decision was it to have him go real wide like this? <laughs> I don't know. Oh wait, I can send messages again. So far you can. Fuck. Well, what's your what's your plan? Unless your plan was related to your messages. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Um, it did not. It did. Wowzers, that's gonna be a stray fairy, isn't it? I have to know. <laughs> well, you're good now. You can put the plan on the back burner. Cool. That was worth it all was, the times you like got hit and stuff. It was what I thought it was. I had to know though. I couldn't have moved on. Chelsea, fetch me my wine. Put wine in my cup, please. You already have wine in your cup. Put more. More wine? How about half of it? That should be all I need for the whole day. No, I mean you're whining. I know, Just I got put, it. Put the wine but now in put the, the cup. beer in the cup! 
Put the wine in the cup. Put the booze in the cup. You're mocking me. Give me. Lean back. <laughs> I'm mocking you. I'm getting some too. Put the lime in the cooking. <laughs> No, it doesn't count. Maybe this is why they did it. Because <laughs> you'd have to know there that there are artificial places that it just won't work. Okay, I think I found the, the secret. Watch when you shoot towards the wall. It just doesn't work, but it wastes your magic. You would have to know internally that... Like, you would have to just know that the... the that it works there but not there because it probably because it can't ex expand but you'd have to know that needy baby needs his wine bruh yes is. top tier dsp clip. is that is that the, do you think that's the reason why it's now uh marked Okay, that I will give everyone. The water boundary doesn't go that far, which is stupid. See, there it worked. I feel like this is more of a, they just need to rework. But there it doesn't. I think well, it probably need... works there because you need to jump up there. I think they could have just reworked it. <laughs> if That can't be the reason they did it. Because I feel like you could just rework that to work, to have the, the stuff appear anywhere. It's this dude again. No, more spheres! <laughs> the water's hitbox is below the surface of the water, I think. Okay, so if I if it grazes over it, it, it won't work. Count. That's something they could have easily fixed. That can't be the reason they changed everything. It must be a player thing, like. Oh, big bubble, man. Bubbles again? It's bubble. No! I mean, it's water level, huh? Oh, he's kicking my ass! This is some Naruto I'm in, shit. He, I'm in the fucking... This is like the green zone. Like the Luigi fucking... That's literally move. like Looney Tunes Naruto shit. This is the dark one. <laughs> this is... No, he's gonna beat my ass again! God, this is so deep and atmospheric. <laughs> oh, he stretches so much. Did you get a light arrow in this game? I forget. I'm not on the road. Oh my god! I just want to run! Can't you just yank his ass out of his bubble? Is that what I do? Oh my god. Shoot this, him? That's what I would try to this do. This dungeon is full of the worst mid bosses ever. I don't know. There he goes. Like He's look coming how for you, dude. Get him. There you go. What are you doing here? Huh? <laughs> Do the part where you get good. <laughs> oh, it's over. He's gonna stretch. Oh my god. I lost again. I have taken all your health, dude. Oh my fucking god, this dungeon. I blame Chelsea for not doing any of the side content. What? Me? Atmospheric. Wait, let me move this thing out of the way. 
Atmospheric 12 year old screaming at slime blob sounds compilation. 10 <laughs> hours. <laughs> Is there a game over title card when you die, or does that not appear? In, in dungeons, or does it only appear? I think in the dungeons? only game over is if you let. Let the moon hit? Yeah. <laughs> Can I get over there yet? Did turn that on. Uh, I can't get the angle. Ah! <laughs> Shit. <sighs> You're almost on your over. the third or the second night. How long have I been here? An hour and sixteen minutes. It doesn't feel like I've been here that long. I'm gonna run out. Hold on. I need to get on top of that. Then I gotta go fight that toad thing again. Is there an easy way to hit all these? Do I have Deku sticks in this game? I don't even, even remember it. Oh, of course I don't. Not on me. You should have fucking bought them when you had the chance, Matt. Actually, the plants in here might give them to you, right? I haven't yet, and I've been here for a while. Give me magic! I need to travel. I need to go very far. Their magic on the floor. I'm gonna drop their magic. Stop wasting magic on dumb, weak, normal enemies. <laughs> Switch to your regular arrows. I just didn't want to go You're into the menu. You're getting fucking called out. I know that makes them fly back that hard. Shit. Where do I get magic? I'll leave and come back, I guess. Come on, Link. Can Matt time it right this time? Yeah. For the mid boss, it usually gives you some magic. I don't even know where that is anymore. I've been in uh, most of the rooms. That's cool. That's good to know. Anything I can use an ice this arrow? It's also in giving me Donkey Kong 64 vibes with the spinning things here. There's probably a bunch of magic. <laughs> oh, it's so wiggly. Which one are you going for? I can only really go in one direction right now. I don't remember where that boss was. Okay, this takes me back out. Maybe you went this, this way to do up, it. Maybe that it one. It was up higher, yeah. I think it was the double red one. This one. Do you remember in it? Yeah. I 
Unless this was earlier before you got there. Chelsea, you're lucky you're not playing. Mm-hmm. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Yeah, you're so lucky. What are, you, what are your thoughts? What are your feelings? Uh. You'd be nice-ish about it. I best not speak at all. If you don't have anything nice, <laughs> don't say anything. Don't say anything at all. Hey. Don't be nice, lay it on. Says Nazars. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> just I'm fine. <laughs> oh, I did not break and get McDonald's today. Yeah, she tested me. Matt also did a did a good job on his test. You know, aren't the little ice things though in the 3DS version larger? Is it like the platforms? Yeah. I bought a foot long hot dog for dinner. Damn. I will gulp the glizzy. Do you have anything on it or is it just a plain hot dog? They say no, they're not bigger. They aren't? Fully loaded for long. No room is this? I've been in here. This is a waste of time. Shit. Shit. Uh, so this is not it. Depending on how things go, I was gonna see who wanted to stream my game on the Discord channel. I wanted to see their reactions. Oh, is this the, the, vi the visual novel? Well, tomorrow's Wednesday. We don't stream tomorrow. Isn't it anime Wednesday? I won't be there, I'll be. I mean, uh, I don't know if anime is gonna happen, per se. <clears throat> But, I heard the cringe in Matt's voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm defeated. These mid-bosses got me in a bad place. <laughs> oh, hold on. Catching up on the stream, but I think the ice arrow thing is because the water wasn't deep enough at that point. Well, that, what? <laughs> Catch up again. <laughs> no, the thing was, uh, in the 3DS version, it marks where you shoot. Who's playing? Who's playing Melophon's game? I'm not sure. Oh, it's because I need to look up. I forgot to look up. No, this game did you tag out? I did tag out. Matt is currently playing it. <laughs> I had to tag out. This game and its goddamn shitty fucking spheres. Okay. I think this thing goes too far. Ooh. Jesus. He's got like a cartoon giggle. Did you hear it? He's the target oh, thing. Like that. Get him! What happens if I run out of magic? He's probably extra. You may be able to shoot him regularly too. 
So I gotta switch arrows? Mid fight? I don't know, that's my suggestion. But then you might run out of arrows. Because they bounce off that. There, die. Okay, that works. Paddle, shut the fuck up. I don't need you. There we go. Uh. Hello, goat yogurt. How's What's it up? going? I won. It's over, dude. <laughs> You're done. You're Respect tagging out because this dungeon sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> It seems fine. It seems kind of short, actually. What do you mean kind of short? You're in the second night in here. Yeah, but I haven't done much. It's more because of uh, me fucking up than the dungeon being long. Nice snipe. Oh, you, oh. you piece of fucking shit. You stupid piece of shit. Oh. Never mind, fuck this boss. Oh. Oh. Get him. You got got? Oh. You did it! No. Did this get me Look up. I still hear him. Did this get me nothing? Where is he? Oh, go talk to is him. Is this just for frog collection? <gasps> oh. Rip. That got me nothing. That was you pointless. Fool. Amazing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Truly. What the fuck? Go Wait, through the there's a door. second door. Okay. Perfect and flawless. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, thank God. There oh, you go. Okay. I'm about to flip out. <laughs> Does the boss keys look really weird? They're so smooth. Alright. I just want to play banjo. <laughs> I really do. I could just sit back and go, ha, oh, like that. <laughs> Streamer tunnel vision strikes again. It is a real thing. Did it point out the door? I didn't see it go up. Did it go up? Is it streamer tunnel vision or just bad conveyance? Hold on, I might be able to look. Yeah, did it point at the door? Was I just looking at chat? It did point at the door. Okay. It's just me, it's me then. It's not the game. Streamer Tunnel Vision strikes again. Nah, uh, fine. I'll never look at chat. Well, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll just never look at chat anymore. You guys are on your own. Need a mask to talk to the frogs. I don't remember the mask's name. How would this game be for a three heart hero mode challenge? Uh, don't read this. I can read it. I'm okay. Um, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure it'd be better. It'd be fine if it had it. I think. If the 3DS remake had a hero mode. I think it would be a giant pain, though. Due to the fact that you have... To... So in hero mode, you have to buy potions and stuff. So the fact that this game constantly will take away your potions... Uh, would be a pain in the ass for hero mode. Debatable. Um, <laughs> so that might be an issue. Uh, I mean, I'm sure someone wants to do that. Like, I'm sure there's, there's people out there that would love it. Uh, 
Um, it's probably, yeah, it's probably the only thing I can think of that people would, that could become like a, an aggravating thing. So uh, you have to basically start your day if you want to do it, prepare, unless you just want to run out. Because hero mode, you can't replenish hearts from grass and stuff. A three hour challenge would be fun, but I think a hero mode one might, might make people upset. It would give you a reason to do all the side quests, though. So maybe by the end of it, maybe it only starts rough. Wait, three, you said three heart hero mode. Mm -hmm. Maybe a regular hero mode would be fine. Just being more harder, but not three heart. Yeah. Where do I need, where do I need to go? You got a big key. That's the last thing you got. All right. Where is that? Where is that? This is, too, this is... I need to go that way. I need to reverse. I need to reverse this goddamn thing. I gotta go back to the first room, I think, and reverse all of the water. Which will give me access to everywhere I haven't been able to go yet. That's what I need. How do I get back to the Darkly entrance? says, well, this temple has bosses that take three hearts away, so don't get hit. Soul level one, Zelda, no hit run. Where is, uh, how do I get out of this? How do I get back to the first area? Can I just, I could probably just dolphin dive to the top. Let me try that before I Is Nickelodeon actually only running SpongeBob? Well, they can't run anything else right now. Every other show is made by fucking the foot sniffer. I don't think he's there anymore. His shows are. His shows still are, but... I can dolphin dive out of here. Ugh. <laughs> I can dolphin dive out of here easy, right? There we go, I don't have to. <laughs> the foot mongle mongler? Is that what you <laughs> called him? The foot sniffler. Uh. Okay. So Tarantino was involved in Drake and Josh. Uh, he likes adult women's feet. Yeah. That's the difference. That's the key. Base grown man foot sniffer. Yes. Is much better than child foot sniffer. Yes, in every way. In every <laughs> single way. <laughs> Dorgo says, Zelda was easier as a kid because if you hit a hard puzzle, you could just wait for more brain, wait a few more days for more brain matter to come in. <laughs> now it's the opposite. I'm losing it all the time. I can't learn new things. If a puzzle's too hard for you now, you have to rush to try to figure it out because you'll probably be dumber tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I uh, do remember when Lo Nickelodeon's logo was a foot. I, I also second, I didn't make it. I also second guess them with the slime now. Oh, sliming all those kids? Yes. Yeah, it does have a weird context. And they're like, the thing was like, oh, we didn't. F he, he was our golden boy, and it's like, he made fucking stupid. <laughs> he made to... he made dumb jokes for children on in like children's sitcoms. You tell me that guy can't be replaced. You can't make another person make fucking simple fart jokes. It's not like he was a genius at writing. He wrote he wrote yeah. jokes for twelve year olds. Mhm. Mm the average YouTuber can do that. They have the same track record as him too. The I average do. YouTuber. He was our goal. We couldn't let him go. He was so genius when he came up with the same show three times in a row. And then wrote the same jokes that are made for children to giggle at. That dude had dirt on people? That's probably more true. I haven't seen the actual documentary. I just know about that motherfucker. Well, they're just all pedophiles, so of course they, <laughs> they just want to keep protect their own. Uh, I mean, 
you sort of question anyone who's involved in kids media period i i question any youtuber that only wants to make like content for children like, like minecraft yeah like every minecraft it's like people are surprised that their favorite minecraft youtuber is it's kind uh, of a creep is a creep and it's like they make they go out of their way to make content specifically for children like they want to entertain kids they're interested in the entertainment of children that's a red flag immediately you shouldn't give a shit about what kids think can i get this who's counting no I'm too I busy think, thinking about I think about he'll get it on the fourth time. The foot sniffler. Like, every YouTuber that... How deep does the nick hole go? <laughs> like, any... any Anyone who spends their day thinking of content to make for children is suspect. To me. I just need I just need fucking arrows. You have arrows. I just need, need magic. magic. I just need fucking magic. Where's the best room? Does is there is there pots around here? There you go. There's pots. You just have to get to them. You need to look up. <laughs> That's what he says. That's all he says. But the camera makes me look down. Mm-hmm. I think it's specifically... Look at the camera. It's stopping me. comedy for kids. Educational stuff is okay. Yeah. Educational stuff's fine. It's when you go out of your way to make kids... You're trying to... Climb you're up. making Wait, comment. don't jump. Like, you're building a Discord that you know your child... Like, if you... If you're a Minecraft YouTuber and you have a Discord, fucking just arrest this man immediately. Yes. You should not... What's your goal? You should not have a Discord full of little kids. Like, just send Chris Hansen directly towards those people. What are you going to do? Freeze this? Oh, I see what you could do. I'm trying to do good over here. I see, I see. I'm trying to freeze my way over there. I wasn't bored by educational stuff. I think we all liked fucking Magic School Bus. <laughs> Mr. Rogers is educational. He's fine. He didn't have a Discord though. Where he, where he invites children on. I think it's really, I don't know if it was any educational stuff geared towards teens. A lot of it tends to be like for real little babies and shit. Can you make it to this? Do you know what? I think the platforms are too small because it feels like you keep having to pull back. Come on, let me look up. I don't even think I can that. make it. I can't see it with the camera angle. Ready, go. It wasn't meant you can't to be even anyway. Make it. it wasn't even meant to be. Can you name another one other than Bill Nye? I wonder if I turn off the. Well, the one girl wrote a book that said, I'm glad my mom is dead. <laughs> she was on iCarly. Is it the girl who played Sam? Yes. I think she told her mom about all that shit, and her mom just didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, that's why it's called I'm Glad My Mom Is Dead. <laughs> Red Green was for teens and adults. i never seen that the one. The fuck is that? Listen, I'm gonna say call that out as bad. <laughs> it's the only time I think you've used the hook shot here. Are you fucking with me? This room constantly makes you look down. The camera naturally points down. What the fuck is that single? A single hook shot point? A single hook shot in the air? To the, I mean, that's nine months. That's what you're looking at. 
I'll be vague on stream, but there's a nearby game company that makes content for kids and they're super sus. <laughs> Darkly, did you know about that single hook shot point in the air and you're like, you need to look up as if that's- Look at the, all the platforms! <laughs> look at what the camera does! <laughs> He's like, you need to look Look what up. happens when I approach the edge that I would need. Look at it fucking pointing down. <laughs> look at what the camera automatically does when I approach the edge where the fucking hookshot thing is. This game's shit, dude. This That's is, so bad. This is Souls Dark Souls? <laughs> That's so fucking dumb. <laughs> The camera looks down. <laughs> this whole room is the camera looking down. <laughs> That's bad to have that just little thing tacked That's to the wall. That's mega shit. That's terrible game design. I, I, I notice it happens when you are on the edge in these games. It looks down. I also noticed I couldn't jump over there. All right, let me turn off the other one. Oh, positive note. The baby in Pan's Labyrinth was one of Jim Henson's staff. Kids? Surrounded by puppets, so apparently wasn't scared during production. It's cute. Haunted camera, Ganon's trick. <laughs> Fucking Majora. Alright, now I think all the water's going the opposite way, everywhere. You reversed the flow. Yeah. Which means I can get into new rooms. There's a show called Nick News with Linda Ellerby. I remember. Came out in 92. I remember Linda Ellerby. All her jokes were to yell. <laughs> was it really? Yeah, every time her, her comedy was to yell something at the end of the sentence. I thought that was stupid when I was fucking a child. That's their golden content, dude. That's their golden... <laughs> That's their bread By and the... butter, their milk and honey. By the golden toe obses obsession man. The Nick News shit? I was bored by that shit. <laughs> this is <laughs> not fun. Look, I know it's... Going the opposite way now. Turn into Zora. So no, this now Matt is broken. This dungeon has taken two hours. <laughs> it's not all Matt. This fucking the only puzzle in this fucking game, this whole dungeon is look up. <laughs> That's it. Matt so, has never looked up on his own without prompting, and it's always been the answer. You think he'd learn. How- the, all the cameras oh, point it. down! I got gotcha. This whole dungeon has been a case of shit camera. The baby from... Was it Pan's- not Pan's Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Grew up and recently helped on Del Toro's Pinocchio film. Works in the same field. Oh, it's called no. nepotism. It's not that impressive. I really love that these fish are PNGs. Yeah. Works really well. Nepo puppet child. <laughs> <laughs> you can look around freely at any time. The camera does that on every ledge of the game. Don't def- you're defending the stupid fucking thing stuck to the roof as the puzzle? Tacked on. That's- it doesn't even- it looked like it was there, it was put there in the last minute. It's not even designed to look like it matches the environment. It's just a stupid thing on the roof. In a room full of looking down.
If you motherfuckers saw that moment in a boss keys, you would be like, oh, he's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> if he pointed it out, you would have been like, oh, that's so right. Takes notes, takes notes. <laughs> but it's... But because dipshit me fucking figured it out, you're like, that's... Oh, you're just supposed to... In a room full of nothing leading you upwards, you're supposed to just look up at this fucking sticker on the roof. <laughs> It's never worked before, but, you know, I just know. <laughs> you just know what? That you could shoot that? That's also kind of bad, but it makes more sense, at least. You have been freezing water this whole time. No, this is where you, I remember, actually remember this one. Where you, like, freeze these to the floor. I like the sound it makes. Now the question is, how do I freeze it? Do I get an enemy on here? A pot, probably. There's something to do with freezing. Do I look up? Oh my fucking god. Look, it happened again! At least now there's been precedent set for looking up. Now I gotta figure out how to shoot that down. Just shoot it anywhere with probably anything. Oh. Why is there frozen stuff here? Ice they arrows. said the they said the Zora place was getting warmer. Shouldn't be frozen stuff in here. This whole puzzle, this whole fucking dungeon, the only solutions have been look up. It's like the best they got. <laughs> Hook shot that you never use on the ceiling you never look at. <laughs> yeah. I think I use the, that's the, I might be the only time I use the hook shot. In here, yes. The last time you used it was the Gerudo yeah. place. What's that guy doing? He's threatening you. Being a little shit. I think you can refreeze him. So I might have to get on it, freeze it. Does this work? Uh, can I both you arrows? freeze the ceiling. And then stand on get it. Get on it and, then and it shoot drops. the ceiling. There you go. Oh my god. The baby puzzle has Matt stumped. No, it doesn't. But I gotta get that first. Before I come this way. <coughs> you alright? I'm just getting, I'm so choked up. Such a masterpiece. <laughs> Love the real bomb juice. The fucking creepy rats running around? Shit. Just shoot it. I don't have to travel up there. Oh. 
All right, turn on the green. Am I almost done? IDK, if the real bomb shoes show up again, kind of neat in-world explanation. Uh, they're in Icona Valley. Oh, you mean in, later in the series? Yeah, I don't think they've ever shown up again. This isn't a pain in the ass at all, guys. <laughs> this isn't annoying to switch arrows at all. Oh, this temple's awesome, but the water temple in Ocarina sucks because you gotta go into the menu a lot. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I'm just saying. I just want some consistency. No. You won't get it. You're looking in the wrong places. I am. Is the lost cause. I liked both water temples. Probably could have jumped up there. <laughs> they're in Wind Waker, but they're rats carrying bombs rather than creepy rats. That's probably just to get a straight fairy. I'm not worried about it. I'll do that later when I'm in a better mood. Where'd a green go? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Have I been in here yet? Shit. I have, but it was up there. Now I can go down here. <laughs> Helldivers 2 update. They fixed the issue with the game crashing because the arc weapons. Fucking sweet, dude. That's good. What evolutionary process led to the bomb chew? Why has nature cursed them? <laughs> They're like little, uh... I mean, to, to attack, they blow themselves up. They're like bumblebees. Or they, yeah. When they go to defend themselves, they die. I've been, I've been in here before. Don't say bye to Dorko. He'll still be here. He fibs every time he goes to leave. For bed or for whatever reason. I also want to point out that the mask putting on and off process also takes about as long as the... as putting on the, the shoes. It's a giant pain in the ass. Like putting on the iron boots. Except it's a, it's a game-wide problem. Listen here, you little shit. I went to bed last time. When? This would have been like one time a month when you actually go to bed when you say you're going to bed. <laughs> uh oh. I might actually run out of time. I've been in here for so long. I've been in here for a hundred years. I feel so tired. I couldn't cancel my grocery order, so I had to stay up around 8 a.m. this morning. Tried sleeping, but then parents had to go get their health checked for insurance reasons. So you had to stay up and watch your niece and nephew, and you've been up ever since. I think I've been in here. If they're not there now, you could probably go to bed. Alright, I'm just leaving. I think I've been in here. If not, I'll re I'll reset the time and go back to day one. Oh, oh how brutal. Arius says, I play this game on computer. We're playing it on a Nintendo... What is it? A Nintendo Switch. Switch? I almost said a Nintendo 64, but it's a Switch. The 64 version. Even though you are suffering, this has made me want to start a randomizer run. <laughs> I honestly, you know what? I'd be more interested in this game with a randomizer run than the actual game. I feel like this game, the, the layout of the world and stuff works better with a randomizer because it's all tight. 
I think if it still has the three day mechanic with the randomizer, that's interesting. Oh, do I have to? Is the timing not just not in my favor? Clock's ticking. I'm gonna die. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you joking me? Are you, are you are you shitting me? Right now? It's pro if it's a if it's in the basement, it's probably a dehumidifier. If you had like a water leak or something, it's getting all that fluids. I like carpets and stuff. Is there a fucking hook shot spot on the roof? No. When do I go? <laughs> what the fuck? Can't you pause? Can't you freeze this thing? It freezes, it freezes both. Yeah, can't you freeze it when it's kind of close or when you're up top? Like right now? Oh, go now! Go! Oh, there you go. The timing was just never right. I mean, I'm going in circles. I don't even need to think I need to be here. I think I'm just going in circles from the main room. Shit. <laughs> Gotta switch arrows. Damn, this dungeon sucks. <laughs> yeah. I think, it's, I think I don't need to be here. I think I'm wasting my time. Solidus the snake was a relatable but shit person villain. Liquid was cool, but he was kind of whiny. I DK why I said that. It's just a random thought. Was Solidus the one and two? Do I have to do the whole thing because I went in the wrong? Hold on. Can I not escape my fate of having to redo that room? Because I couldn't. Oh my. Match of the terrible fate. Oh my god. He said god. the line. Uh, no. I... Oh, at least I only have to do one part of it. Oh, yeah. He was the president, too. Solidus wanted to free everybody by the. You found out he wanted to free everyone. At least free them from the. They had the. You and Solidus had the same goals by the end, but Raiden had to fight Solidus because. Um. The. The. Uh, Olga's kid would have died. But you had similar goals to Solidus by the end of it. You both wanted to be free of the system. Go off the grid, baby. Okay, don't go in the top one. Or No, which one do I not go in? Which one do I not go in? <laughs> no. This is it. You just have to go in the right one. Oh, uh, which one don't I go in? It's not that one, is it? Is it that one? The bottom one takes me... There's three holes at the bottom there. Well, the boss is on the second floor. So what if I take the second hole? This is going to be the wrong one, isn't it? Shit, no! Link just sucked in a shit ton of water, <laughs> taking the mask off. Oh, I'm going to have to redo the... If I pick wrong, I'm going to have to redo everything again. Well, don't pick wrong. I have to redo the jump. Oh, I picked wrong. Oh, I picked wrong. I'm fucking stupid. Oh, now I gotta redo everything. Cause you can't come back. You can't go back the way you came. No! I gotta redo all of it. I gotta redo the timing of the impossible jump. I had to just sit here and wait for it to line up correctly. Matt, 
The town is creepy. There you go. What don't you understand? It's so dark. Okay, it's cool. So I got it right away. It's so creepy and dark. It's so so sad. Those five events that are pretty sad, they make up for all this. <laughs> Those five text boxes that are a little <laughs> dark. Oh man, do they make up for for everything. They make up for all the Zelda parts of this game. It's so dark, dude. Do you want to get into your, your new critique of Majora's <gasps> Mask while I... Okay, I could do it while you backtrack. Yeah. Yesterday when we ended the stream, I was like, why don't I like this game? And then I realized that this game actually has no story in it whatsoever. Thoughts, anybody? All right, to find that more. Before this game they... has no through line. There's nothing pulling you through the game. There's no story. The only story you get is in the first hour of the game when they tell you, "Hey, Majora basically is on top of the, the clock, getting the moon to fall down." The rest of the game is spent trying to fix that. There is no other story. There is no other narrative. That is your story. Just that one event. All story happens in the beginning and end. And that's it. All the stuff in the middle doesn't matter because you rewind time. And it's basically the same. It's just something bad's going on in this area and you fix it. But there's no... Nothing happens in the middle of this game that really, like... Okay, so it's the bottom. It's this one. Ocarina of Time was great because the story kept escalating. It starts with you being a little small little village kid. And then the fucking tree says, go outside to this big wide world. And you meet Ganon, you meet Princess Zelda, and it just keeps escalating from there. And then after that, you fucking go back in time and he's shit all over the place and it's awful. Or you go forward in time, my bad. This one doesn't have anything. <laughs> it's just, it's just the, the moon's falling. The moon is just falling and your goal is to stop that. And nothing changes. None of this other smaller story stuff matters because time gets reset. None of it sticks. Uh, no one actually really even talks about... The other thing I thought about is this one's actually... We were jogging and thinking. Uh, this is actually similar to Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom in that all the story has already happened. Because um, you'll meet characters in this that talk about that mean old skull kid or whatever that's done mean things to them, but you never see that. You never get to experience any of that. Any of that. It's all already happened before you get here. And I think that's one of the problems I have. Because I can deal with a game as long as there's like a story or some narrative like pull through. And this just doesn't have it and it relies on me to want to do it myself. And I don't want to do it myself. That's why Matt's playing right now. <laughs> Where's the pump? How do I get the pump going for the green? That's the last thing I gotta do. But the story is only the moon is falling. You should fix that. Also, I don't think Tail, is that her name? I don't think Tail talks enough. At least in the first game in Ocarina of Time when Navi didn't want to speak, I could literally phone up Saria and she would help me and tell me where to go or give me hints. Does anyone tell you to go to the Romani Ranch this whole game? I feel like the final cinematic thing has already happened in this game and it's dealing with the fallout as Link struggles to fix it, which is interesting. Yeah, but, it, but after that, that's it. You already did the whole story at the first hour. Like it doesn't, it, it doesn't get any interest, it doesn't, nothing happens from there. It's cool that you're trying to stop it, but it doesn't really get... Nothing happens. There is no story. So, like, it's cool that the, the, the climax happened, but then nothing... It's just the climax. There's no... You get a beginning and a climax, and you get nothing else. And I was thinking about Yakuza, because Vixos has been playing Yakuza, and there's a main story in Yakuza, which is literally fantastic. Yeah, it keeps you pulling you through it. None of that side quest stuff you do in Yakuza is necessary to affect the main story, other than maybe items and things you get from it, but that's about it. <clears throat> I'm back here because the 
the, the water fucking pulled you here. water isn't moving. So I'm hoping that green pipe will leave me. I'm never going to leave this dungeon. I'm going to be here for a hundred years. Uh, let me go back and breathe. After the, uh, I feel like the final cinematic has already happened in this game comment. There was, I feel like they could have, they could have that, but in the game. Like, they can make it form as a story. Like, one story ends, another begins. Yeah, like, like, you learn more about Majora. Maybe Majora stops you a few times. So that you build up a rivalry. I don't know. None of the townspeople even seem to care. No one really says anything about Skull Kid other than he's just being an asshole. Uh, Darkly says, Ocarina is also structured like that too. Go to place, fix problem. Go to next place, fix problem. False. The problem, it, listen, there's an escalation in the narrative. Yeah. When I leave the, the small village at the beginning, and I get to the castle, they're like, dude, this Sandman is fucking scary, dude. They're setting stuff up for me to get interested yeah. in. Yeah. Right? When I do the first thing and collect the three little gems or whatever the fuck they are, I don't even remember what they're called. When you collect the first three things, fucking Ganon comes down and says, you stupid ass, you did what I wanted. It's another escalation. You go into the future and he literally says, this is what I wanted, you dumbass. It's another you see, escalation. And you see what and you he's see done. It. That's another escalation. You're it keeps pulling you what through he did. it. And it's now after intriguing. after it's that, so it does let you kind of walk like that. Then it leaves you alone. But then you still have tidbits from like, is this the room? Did I miss a fucking? Did I never push that? I could have swore I pushed that. It's most likely all due to the time limit. Sure. I wish they had tied the stories more to the moon falling, but I chalk it up to a time limit. Yeah, their nine-month development cycle thing. I mean, how many excuses are they gonna get though with that? Before it's just like I would actually, I would actually not give them an excuse on this one because years later, last year they put out Tears of the Kingdom, which literally does the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> we were saying if you if you um, so I did push this. Why is the why is it not moving? What did I miss? Tears of the Kingdom also only has go fight Ganon. Oh, I missed something. That's somewhere. the only story narrative it has. Ganon raises the castle up, and you gotta put that baby back down on the ground. Yeah, there's and like it no has a little more though, like with the Raru stuff. But again, that all happens in the past. The pipe's not glowing. Yeah, I need to figure out where the initial. And if, if this one had some sort of, like, if I was, I don't need a Zelda, but there's nobody in this game that I have to keep going to or try to help in the same way that you had to sort of do with Zelda in Ocarina. And I really, I really don't, I personally can't get attached to anything if it literally resets. I don't care how sad anybody is. Like it's it literally resets. <laughs> I guess. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? I think I just gotta go up. Is it that up might higher? Be I fucked up. It might be the middle room. Maybe I just forgot about a room up here. This one plays with the more traditional Zelda format than any other game, so I'm willing to cut it some slack. That doesn't mean it's good. So did Breath of the Wild. So did Tears Skyward, of the Kingdom. Skyward Sword did as well. well that one. You know, we need to bring that one in. We don't bring that one up? Yeah. It doesn't automatically make it good because it's new. If anything, it's, it's, there's a lot. Like, there's no there's no story in this game. Skyward it's just, Sword it's vibes story. only. Skyward Sword has a lot of story. Nintendo should hire me to tell them these things. They should remake Majora's Mask in Unreal, so that ah, would yes. be so sick. And then they'd get so much more money and go. way more than nine months to develop it. There we go. I need to go over Years, there. maybe. They may get years to develop it. I'm not saying this game is impressive for the time frame they had. I'm saying it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> it can still be an impressive feat and it's, still be really bad. I don't a, like it. I don't, I don't mean, like it is, What do you mean by impressive feet? 
Like more than Ocarina? I mean, the fucking thing works. <laughs> it definitely works as a game. How many times do I gotta just go like, well, yeah, it's... I guess it's because it's the f first. That means I have to. I can't talk about how it's bad. I don't understand this. I don't no understand. No one cuts this. anyone else this much slack. Okay. Name me another game company that like do Ubisoft. Oh, they took a year to make an Assassin's Creed. Everyone told them stop doing that. They're shit. <laughs> I don't see anyone else cutting them slack. <laughs> oh, yeah, they it's were only, making like. It's only Nintendo. That also, gets yeah, Ratchet slack. and Clank's were all made in a year too. Impressive feet? Why are we back to Nickelodeon shit? <laughs> <laughs> like, there all the a, Ratchet and Clanks were made in a year. Except for the a, first one. There isn't a single... Name me another video game company that takes less time to make something, and people say that those are great, in fact. Pokemon games, I think, are only taking a year, and they literally look like trash garbage. And no one cares because they're all Pokemon fans. And they don't know any better. <laughs> Bethesda. People, people shit on Bethesda all the time. At least now, Bethesda. Like how 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 many excuses does it had nine months get before it's like yeah, but it doesn't have a story. <laughs> like you just walk around and you fix stuff. There's there's only story in the beginning, and yeah, there's little tiny stories here and there, but fucking a lot of games have side quests. <laughs> That's not special. I refuse to be quiet and accept it. That's also not a good philosophy to have. <laughs> this is something we don't talk about because we know it's shit and everyone agrees, but we don't care. Nope. Just be quiet and accept it. That's what Nexus that said. <laughs> That's middle manager talk. Yeah. The work, the work environment is shit and we know it, but don't talk about it. It just upsets yeah, everybody. Party. Okay, this should finish the dungeon. Is it okay if your 15-year-old brother is a fate of Chucky from Chuck E. Cheese? He's probably as good Have reasons. they played FNAF? It's FNAF. Have you got them into FNAF? You should make fun of him relentlessly until you he realizes how stupid he is. You should absolutely make fun of him. Is it which Chuck E. Cheese is this? Is this the animatronic chumpy Chuck E. Cheese or the little CGI cartoon rat Chuck E. Cheese? I know. Like, is this a new Chuck E. I know or it's a straight Chucky? fairy. We don't need it. The smaller stories are part of the main quest too. I would argue that they aren't. In fact. What? What are you talking about? Only the Andrew and Kaffee one, or none of none of these are <laughs> part of any main side quest. That and the, the Romani Ranch thing. That's it. Why is there UFOs? Can Everything else is part of the thing? collection of... Of masks? Of masks and art pieces. Does not sound like bullying at this point. Who are we bullying, Nintendo? No! Oh, so there's a difference between a... Shit! I didn't want to go in there! It's just a discussion. Wait, I can go up. No, I can't. Are you shadow banned again, my man? What are you saying in this Discord? Or this, <laughs> Why this can't YouTube? you go one? Hold what? on, I'm coming over. Why can't he go one, one stream without getting shadow banned? Okay, here's what he wrote up. I was shadow banned again. Okay, what did you say? Fallout New Vegas was made in a year, Bethesda. That's the only one people actually like. That's far more impressive than Majora's Mask. I don't know what I'm on you now on Discord, so if you do type, I could see it now. I Fallout think that's New Vegas okay, is though. crazy it's more, more impressive. Loot stories too, like seeing Majora's trail before you meet up with him at the end is very cool. Vibes only is fine, preferred at times even. No, <laughs> no, because Chelsea bailed. Why can't bailed. I have both? Chelsea... Why can't I have both things? <laughs> yeah. Why can't explain to me? Right the fuck now. Why can I not have vibes and a good story? Why can <laughs> other games do both things? <laughs> no, it gets infinite excuses. Nine months. <laughs> Why can't I have both things? What part of nine months don't you understand? Infinite excuses. It has, it has a five minute part at the end where people are sad. Therefore, everything wrong with it kids. is fine. I don't care about the little kids at the tree or whatever happens in this game at the end. 
That's the there's the beginning and end and nothing in the middle. It's literally the same as Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, whoa, whoa. If you like if you if you like this game, you're never allowed to talk about Tears uh, of the Kingdom's <laughs> shitty story. Because it's the same fucking thing. It's stuff happens in the beginning, nothing in the middle, and then stuff happens at the end. Alright, I can't Bye -bye. fuck this up. Don't fall me. Don't fuck it up. I like to the Tears bottom. of the Kingdom shitty story. I just don't like the way they did the flashbacks multiple times. Well, that's like more than what this game got you. Does it, it gets like what two flashbacks or something where you talk about a little bit about Majora that one time? Uh, Who is giving excuses? No one is saying you can't feel how you feel about this game. You guys are chasing ghosts. I'm not chasing ghosts. It's the entire internet. The entire internet that will essentially coddle Nintendo's balls at every opportunity. <laughs> I don't like this game. And look at that, it's not even on, it's actually on the Nintendo 64 If version, I say I think so it's no interesting that they went for a non-traditional story structure, it's not I think the same fine. as saying it's amazing or whatever. I, I've said but before- But that doesn't mean it was successful either. Here's the thing, I've said before that I would prefer things that aren't the same. But that doesn't mean that everything that's not the same is good. Okay? I don't like this one and I absolutely would have stopped playing this game as a as a as a wee lad. <laughs> it would have broke me completely. This game's never judged on its on its negatives anymore. Like it's always videos about how awesome it is. But it's never no one ever just talks about and then when people do, it's like it's like constant pushback. But it's like, guys, yeah. it's it's not that amazing. But not liking the more loose story this is from me on Discord. But not liking the loose story is fun. it's not a loose story. There it's is no, no story. story. You see the story at the beginning, and then there's a conclusion at the end, and that is all that there is to the overarching main story. You save a monkey from a cage. You you melt the ice in the Goron section. It's murky over here, and you clear it up, and I forget what I kind of thing is. With the stone mask. None thing? of this has anything to do with Majora besides the fact that Majora caused it. But that's the same as like in Tears of the Kingdom, where there's weird phenomenon caused by Ganon. That's not interesting, though. I'm gonna type up Majora's Mask in the YouTube just search bar and tell me all the stuff that you find that is not at all giving a criticism on this game. I hear constantly that this is the best Zelda game and shit, and it's like, no, it's fucking not even that close. That ain't chasing ghosts. Those videos have millions <laughs> yeah. of views. Millions of views of people that agree and think it's the, the greatest game ever. And it never gets any sort of pushback, those the, those kind of like, saying how dark it is. It's like, there's only, there's only Clock Town. <laughs> this was my thing I wanted to bring up, by the way, about the lack of story. My new theory, oh, he may be sending messages too fast. I don't know. No, I don't, I don't care what, I don't care what random internet people say, but I've seen it happen before where people who I don't even think have played this game say it's great and then when you play it it's not it's not great <laughs> yeah. so you get put in an awkward weird position and then there's no consistency because i'll see the same audience say how tears of the kingdom stories dog shit and then just ignore they'll ignore this game's like lack of story completely because vibes but i mean tears of the kingdom has vibes they all breath of the wild has vibes that doesn't mean the story was awesome because it had vibes that doesn't make a whole. That doesn't make, like. There's an inconsistency that I'm not into. I don't even remember how to fucking fight this guy. What's this guy's name? Gorg. <laughs> Depends on where you go. McDonald's could be fine dining. Like, uh, here's an example. 
What the fuck's this guy's story? This <laughs> like, fish? Yeah. I don't know. Besides don't that he's just talking. in the temple. Well, the same thing happened with goat. No one says anything about what goat is or what he's doing. You make it snow, I guess. But it doesn't make any sense because he's frozen. Goat is literally frozen in the mountain. <laughs> oh yeah, why when you first that, meet him. Why is that making it cold? It's just a robot. This game only has vibes in Castle Town. It's in Romani where, Ranch. Where are the other vibes? Where are all these vibes? <laughs> where are the vibes at? Oh Matt no, he can't killed beat me. Anything in this game? I can't beat anything at all. This game should. This I can't. I really can't play a game like this where it's wander, wander about, and find your own enjoyment. I could do that in Minecraft, but. Minecraft doesn't even try to have a story, and that's a building game. But like this, there's just no story in here for me to really feel anything for. Oh cool, you're in York Washington's arena? <laughs> <laughs> also, now this may just be due to the times and it being on a Nintendo 64. When I solve something, Link is also directly gaining knowledge when I do. Cause so when I mark stuff on the the bomber's notebook, he is too. I wish when the characters gave me an item that I actually kept it. Cause, cause I don't wanna have to do it over again if I'm out of time. Like I wish I could reset the clock, give Anju the stuff, and then it just continues where it left off. That would be so fucking sweet. Because I already know how to solve it, so to wait again is, like, mind-numbing. Don't go down. That's the fairly popular joke, is York Washington. That's pretty good. Okay. This is where people say short dev cycle. No, it does. It did have a short dev cycle, but... So did a lot of, like... I don't... I still don't think... There's a lot of games that had a short dev cycle and are good. Like the Ratchet I, and Clank games. Yeah, I don't. I personally, in, a year. in my opinion, <laughs> don't think that this is one. <laughs> the wander and find your own fun excuse sounds similar to how people excuse Fallout 3 and etc. New Vegas has the main story, but also has other side content that could change the overall story at the end. Breath of the Wild has the same, like, when people criticize it, they go, well, you just gotta wander around and find your own fun. It's like, so it's not good, I guess it's, we're just gonna throw out that this, like, we're gonna throw out all, everything about it because you were able to put your Legos together in a fun <laughs> way. Like, we're, like, there's no problems now with the whole game. Like, it's perfectly fine because, uh, because vibes. There's nothing. I like, I like not Castletown. Oh, I really like Clocktown. But I was interested that there's a flip here. Castle Town in the original sucks. Clock Town in this one is good. But Hyrule Field is infinitely better than... Is it Termina Field in this yeah. one? It's like they switched everything around. <laughs> Alright, so what do I do now? What are you telling me, Tattle? Dive underwater and attack it. Alright, so I gotta switch masks again. Uh, am I allowed to talk about how... The mass switching is really fucking lame and annoying. Meep says, throwing out the idea of directing the player. I don't- I wish this one had more. Well then Breath of the Wild is a fucking masterpiece and not a 7 out of 10. Because it's okay- because it also doesn't ask you to do that. And Tears of the Kingdom is an amazing video game and is not flawed in any way. And we- they should continue making those games. This is a solid bit of discourse. I like seeing the people with actual opinions actually debating none of that Shapiro opponent ownage <laughs> crap. <laughs> you just gotta talk really fast for that. Well, I'm gonna edit this afterwards to make me right. I'm gonna make y'all seem silly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do much better if there's a story. I really do need. Now, it doesn't have to be. I'll. I'll... I'll trade it for what two. What do I attack? Do I? I don't have time to get down there. It could either be a more engaging oh story God. that Three actually damage. pulls you, the player, you know, through the game, or if they told you more of 
more direction on actually where to go. I would settle for either of those. Did you shoot two him again? Being in this game. For me to enjoy it more, is what I'm saying. The thing about Tears of the Kingdom is people kind of turned around on it over the course of this year. No, it was always shit, though. <laughs> like, it always had these problems. People were just blinded because it's the new game. It's the new Zelda game. Also, there's a... Um, I'm dead. It's difficult. We made a video already that went Dude, over what stuff. the fuck do you do to fight this guy? I'm gonna run out of time. I might have to reset the, the I'm time. I'm fine with light narrative. If this had more, I just need a little bit more to pull me. Nothing happens. You guys are lying. If you think there's a narrative, <laughs> like what but the, the, the truly the only, the only narrative. I'll explain it. I'll list it out. When you first boot up this video game, this fucker like kill, knocks you over and takes your horse. Okay. There's a lot of shit that happens in the beginning. It's awesome. It's all in the beginning. It's all completely. You meet the happy mask it. man. You meet the happy mask man, and as soon as you step outside, that fucking timer shows up on the bottom of your screen, and it's a big panic. As soon as you find out that the dude's up top, you wait a little bit and you go get him, right? And then you reset time. That's it. That's the narrative of this video. You're done game. because yeah, you you if you find out the, the happy mask man He's finds out you didn't. He's there now. He's right there now, bringing the bringing the fucking moon down. You can't do anything about. And it. then your the story from that point on is go. That's go it. south, go that west, is, that is go the only north. Narrative. It's all in the first hour of the video game. Now think about Ocarina of Time. And then you get the same <laughs> you get the same fucking cutscene with like where you. Pick up a fucking. Uh, let me go down. You get the same cutscene where you pick up a a giant, then you come out of the door again, and then she, your fucking fairy goes, "All right, now go this way." <laughs> and that's the whole fucking story. She says, story. "Now we gotta go do the ocean, and the mountain, or the swamp, the ocean, and this." And she'll list them off, and and that's all that there is. That's literally the story. <laughs> and then if the, the other thing you can add is like some of the character stuff, but there's really isn't that much. There is no narrative to this game. <laughs> if I told you I have to go to the grocery store and that was it, is that a narrative? <laughs> like, that's nothing. I didn't, I didn't tell you anything. I didn't tell you what I'm getting. I didn't tell you how long it took. I didn't tell you where it was. There's just nothing. There really is just nothing here. It's like a... It's just vibes from here on. It's just one. It could but be that's not interesting to just after one a while. sentence. That's that's just the narrative. There's no escalation in it. Like there's just nothing. There's just nothing there until I guess you get to the very end again. And that holds up for a 45-minute YouTube video <laughs> that, that people watch. In fact, watch, a lot of people. But there's lie. nothing else here. People are fibbing and acting like Castle Town's the entire narrative, and it isn't. <laughs> there's nothing. And then There's the, no narrative here. Uh, There's nothing to pull me through this game. There's, There's no, no halfway point where, th where things get crazier and escalate. It's just uh, go go the four directions and then go to the moon. <laughs> and then you're done. <laughs> then some stuff happens. This is Vixos. Controversial take. I think even with the goofy VA, I think Yakuza OG is good. I'll have to try it. I right. say you're right about most of your critiques of the game, but this one just ain't it to me. What would you call this? Where's the story then? Where's the story? Write down all the story. Write, write down, down how. Write down this epic tale write it down <laughs> that happens me. in this game. Explain it to me. Tell me what it I'm is. I'm afraid to get close to him. We're not fighting, by the way. I'm just asking. <laughs> but write it down. <laughs> write it down. Write down this tale. Uh, would you like a backseat game to help you on this fight? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Should I spoil this? There's something that's useful for magic in this game. So you can knock him down. He's gonna eat me. Please, let go. Uh. Oh my god, and he threw me in the thing. I don't know if you're typing more. You say, moon's falling. Cloud. 
Don't type up anything about any side quest. Because I don't give a shit. <laughs> None of it matters. <laughs> I mean, you could type up... Dark Souls does not have a story. That's actually a terrible one to bring up. This sounds like someone who... Dark Souls has lore. Yeah, Dark Souls has a shit story. It has lore, but the story is actually really bad. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck also, are you talking welcome, about? welcome, Gucci Gamer. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the discourse. In fact, Dark Souls is great because it doesn't have a story. That'd be one I would say would be a good version of this. It does feel like you're exploring. It does feel like you're figuring but stuff But if people out. dropped it because it didn't have a story, I wouldn't go, But there's a fucking all this lore, dude, vibes! I'd be like, yeah, there's no story, I get it. How do you, how do you fight this guy? Can anyone tell Matt how to fight this fish? Backseat gaming's allowed. Because if I go down there, he eats me and I lose three hearts. I don't want to lose three hearts again. Dark Souls is his front loaded too. That little blue man on the steps, that's all he tells you. Ring the yeah, bell I'm not sitting fire. here telling you that Dark Souls has a good story like you guys are. Tell me where the good story is. <laughs> Help Fairy at Snowhead to get more magic. Oh. That's Tell me where the, the good story. story is. That's what this game does. Arrested, it tells you the story in the first five minutes. There's no I'm fucking not story. I'm Dark Souls has any story. Dark Souls <laughs> has a shit fucking story. You said it has a great <laughs> story. It doesn't. It has a garbage story. It's man walks. Yeah, I to find his name. <laughs> the blue guy. Dark Souls is the story of why my girlfriend is my ex now, but it's also I'm um, epic as fuck. <laughs> That's a really good story. Ah, uh, man. Someone help Matt. <laughs> I'm gonna lose three hearts again. Dark Souls does not have a story. Dark Souls has a fucking garbage story. And that's why I fucking love it. It's Elden Ring, same I gotta get thing. Brave Dark and get Souls in the water? 2, Dark Souls 3. None of that shit has any story. In fact, I'd say Demon Souls probably has more story than either of the Dark Souls games. Oh no, I can't. I gotta... I'm going crazy. <laughs> Lore is story, though. They just... Hold on, I gotta move No, it's thing. not! They go, in, <laughs> they go hand in hand. No, it fucking doesn't! Sekiro has a story. Lore is, back, Lore is set dressing to a story. Lore is what's in the room, what paintings are on the walls. That's lore. That ain't a story. You guys are fucking nuts. When someone's reading a book to you and they start pages and pages of When you what's look at the, the map walls. to the fucking before the Lord of the Rings book, do you go, oh, fucking epic story, bro? <laughs> no, it's the story, the Demon tale that's Souls being told. Demon's Souls has more story than OOT? No, it doesn't. Am I taking crazy pills? Demon's Souls has more story than Dark Souls, though. So. Um, the, the final boss actually talks you. To die, you. you go and do the thing. Uh, you die in the beginning. You then go into the thing, and then you go to five locations until you fight the last boss. Um, you get some stories about Balataria. The, you find out the one guy. Some of the people do kind of follow you a little bit. It's um, a garbage all story. All the NPCs <laughs> actually give you a lot of story, potentially lore, of what you're doing. Um, in Demon Souls. But those have more interesting gameplay than Zelda does. Mm -hmm. Boy, are you just talking about OOT? Well, someone talked about Dark Souls and stuff. They might OOT be. has a story. OOT has a great story. You just go somewhere, find a thing, go to another place. There's cutscenes and story between those uh, things. Oh my god! That? Oh my, the gaslighting. You're the fairy question. boy that go, that lives in a village that you don't belong in. You find out that you're not part of the Kokiri, so then you go travel, you're told to travel to Hyrule. You meet a man, you go into the fucking castle, you meet Zelda who tells you about this evil guy, he looks at you, you then get the other two stones, you you find out that you did exactly, the, then fucking Zelda gets attacked, you find out, you go to the Temple of Time, you put the fucking things in the, in the Temple of Time, you go into the future, you find out you open the door for... Ganon to come through. He says, thank you. You come out seven years later because you can't wield the Master Sword because you were too young. You come out and the fucking all of Castletown is destroyed and the whole world's fucked. Yeah. Then you do some stuff to fix it. You come back. You travel up the castle. Ganon tells you how you're an idiot again well, because you, you've now here. gathered the, four, the, the Triforce for me. You then fight. You travel up the castle. You beat Ganon. Then, you, then you're sent back in time after that. Because this isn't your timeline. That's a fucking thousand times more no. story than I don't need you him. get no, cursed. No. 
Gucci Gamer, you're mistaking. I don't need hand-holding for a story at all. I love Dark Souls. Dark Souls does not have any fucking story. You don't need hand holding for your story. I don't care if a building is abandoned. Where's the. Just someone write Souls. out the story of Majora's Mask. You're all circumventing the problem here. <laughs> just moon, write it out. Moon Fall Town Fix Moon. <laughs> write out the story. There's two, there's you get two cursed. Bullet points. You get cursed. You find out the moon's falling. You then stop the moon from falling by gathering giant. That's the fucking story. I can read a note. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't have to be in a cutscene. I can read a note and get the story. What I can, hand? If, I, I if there's no story, what am I being wall? held held through? Fuck, Wally -E didn't even have any talking in it, and I understood the story. There's I don't no need story it. to Majora's Mask, and you guys never thought about that because you're too busy jerking off okay, to vibes. Okay, arrested at Waffle. That's three things: mask stolen, moon falls, get mask back. Now list out how many beats there are in Ocarina of Time. There's probably like twenty. <laughs> It has more story than You guys this never thought game. about it because you watched 700 fucking YouTube videos on this, but you never played it to find out I that you this. don't do anything in this game. Matt, get out of this fucking water temple. I can't. I have to reset the time and redo parts of it. Who cares about beats? I do. That's literally what I'm talking about. There's no story in this game. Well, then what did you... Then it's who gives entirely shit? side quests. Well, then I hope then I you must think it Tears of the Kingdom story is awesome and Breath of the Wild is a great need story. To, I'm not asking for much arrested at Waffle Hask. I'm asking for just a little bit more story. Dude, the, the, I didn't realize that these people didn't <laughs> thought this game had a story. It doesn't have any story. I don't need it complicated. I want more. I want anything more than having to reset There's the no again. There's no fucking story in Majora's Mask, and you didn't even think about that till now because you never fucking played the game. The end, or you would have felt that there's no fucking through line in this in this game. Fuck, dude. None of you did. You all got called out oh, in wait, 4K. Oh, wait, got some here. Hey, now. Oh, we're upsetting everybody. Meep says, hey, now. Hey, now. I've played the game probably too much. I also hate the video essays. <laughs> Do I love it. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> I mean, it, the reason they're mad is because they know it's to be true. They can ignore the other stuff, but when you say it has no story, they go, no, it does. It's just... There's no the story moon. in this. <laughs> Falls. The story is moon fall down. Stop moon from fall down. Someone back to you, game. Can someone help Matt first? Stun the fish, turn into fish person. How do I stop myself from getting and eaten? And shoot those one things at the fish. What things? Someone help him. What things? My arms? There are, oh, he agrees, though. There's less main plot or none. Hmm. Oh. Well, pointing to other people, Meep there's a fucking. In. I hate this game. <laughs> Thank you, Matt, for playing this. Oh my god, I hate this guy. That's all it is. All this. That's all right, what I'm saying. Gonna, I'm arrested. I don't want to have to lose time. Name me what happens in the middle of this game. When there's you, no when story. You, when you learn that Moon fall down and Moon needs to stay away. <laughs> that's the whole. You're done. What happens after that? And then you run around a lot. You're just going to get. Items that you got in the first game. And some sad stuff happens every Magic once in a while, shield, but it's Matt. not. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, this the, the, the shield Remove underwater. Remove fire arrows, I think, and use magic aura as Zora. Okay. Well, I saved because I don't That wanna... all happens, I Arrested, wanna... at the beginning of the game. <laughs> That's an hour it's in. It's completely front loaded at the first hour of the game. After you learn that, nothing else happens until the end of the game. I'm not gonna sit around and look at lore of building textures to figure out what the fuck is happening in this game, okay? It doesn't tell me fuck, anything, it so doesn't weird. show me anything, it's just moon fall down, and at the end, moon need to go back up. That's all it is. You wanna know why there's so many fucking essays on how mysterious Majora is? It's because there's no fucking story! <laughs> This guy. <laughs> and Ocarina has both. Okay? Ocarina has both gameplay mixed in with story in a beautiful package of what I think is actually a 10 out of 10 stellar video game. This has as much story as, like, fucking Fuck. Mario 64. Exactly! <laughs> Save Princess, defeat Bowser. <laughs> That's it. That's all there is. You gonna tell me what kind of? How far are we going? But Majora is scary, Mushes. <laughs> he is. 
He's a little dancing guy. I, uh, I know the, the gameplay. He's a little jerk off. Story in this one is at the beginning, at the end, and like Meep said on Discord, the, the gameplay essentially happens in the middle. But that's all it is in the middle. But there's nothing. It's just there's gameplay. Nothing. It's just pure gameplay with nothing else. Is the guy that wants to jerk off to the pirates? Is he the, is he the deep lore? Is he this epic story? Part of this epic story? But these NPCs don't interact at all with the overarching story. They don't do anything because you reset the fucking clock. What you do for them doesn't matter. Also, they don't really affect the story. They don't. They don't affect the story at all. They're not all. really part of it except for... The, the one part I really liked is when I went into the mayor's office and the, the soldier and the boomers essentially were fighting over what to do or if anything to do about the moon. <laughs> Gee, I thought that was fucking great. I don't know what the fuck to do. Alex says, the story can feel rich and impressive while still seeming kind of hollow because of how alive the NPCs feel and how relatable... This is the most cope shit I've ever and, fucking heard. Hold on, I'm done. <laughs> Skyrim has the best story ever. In this world are, but the motivation for Link is kind of be Link. Yes, it's just you... I'm sort they're of not even, like, they're playing cool. the role as Link. They're cool, but, like... <laughs> it's not... I even have the argument that the, a lot of this... The three-day cycle shit is over-exaggerated. Oh, no. There's like, okay. there's only like 12 Does people. Does anyone agree this. with me, Pierre? He says, okay, how about this take? Story is lame. You heard me. I don't want cutscenes. <laughs> well, you better talk to everyone who says that this is an awesome story. <laughs> how do you like your Brock boys, sir? Roasted. <laughs> okay, I, I hit him, at least. It's not part, of side quests are not part of the main story. They will never be a part of the main story. And then Skyrim That's has the greatest story ever quests. told because because there's more because side quests. There's side, a lot of side quests. Just because there's more side quests doesn't make it a great game. I don't care about side the quests. The the fucking the fucking cope. They get roasted. He got us. For the record, this is Alex. For the record, Matt, I'm on your side. I just get I just get where people are coming from who are on the other side. That's fine. I just don't. I sort of actually, actually, it's not fine. I actually don't understand. Yeah, Chelsea the, doesn't want to play this game anymore. Because I actually am completely keeps upset about this game because there's <laughs> nothing in it to motivate me to keep going. <laughs> she doesn't like it at all. <laughs> I was fine with it. And she loves Ocarina. I actually kind of wished it wasn't a Zelda game and they just took out Castle Town and put it somewhere else in a different game. Maybe that's, you know what? Maybe I would really like. Animal Crossing. <laughs> that oh, that be, is an awesome story, because you talk to a lot of NPCs. That may be what I want. <laughs> that is like one of the best stories ever. You talk to a lot of NPCs. They barely even reference the moon shit. No, in fact, most of them act as if the moon isn't even there. <laughs> yeah. Or isn't even coming down. I'm going to run a drill bit into my head, like the guy does in Pi. So I can forget video games. <laughs> Movies don't have side quests, Gucci Gamer. <laughs> Name me a movie that has a side quest. Did he just say that movies don't have... He says ignoring side quests and saying the story is bad is like watching half of a movie and saying you didn't get it, though. But they I'm don't fucking talk about an overall story. I'm gonna ask again. When this you is, learn... There's so much I'm cope. asking one last time. <laughs> With you guys. You can all answer. If none of you answer, I'll take it. B plot is different. B plot, they're all heading towards the same goal. Skyrim like, is the, the greatest fuck? story ever written because you talk to a lot of NPCs. I guess, yeah. Now, like, <laughs> someone needs to answer me. I died again. Where are they? When? At least I know what to do now. When this guy. you learn that the moon is falling and you have to fix the moon, explain to me what the story is before you get to the end of the game. What's the story? What is the story? If it, it's a bullet point, this I This should care. have been easily countered by, here's all the cool Broad stories just that's beat happened. the boss, Vixon says. <laughs> everything in a movie... I don't, I don't have a lot think of hearts. An, I mean, fuck, everything in a movie is trying to service the overall movie. If there's a movie... Oh my God. Unless it's like a... I mean, fuck, even like ABCs of Death, all those little snippets have their own little narratives and stuff. I, all you gotta do is simply write out this epic story. 
Just write it out. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. You gotta write out the oh, epic. Oh, can't even help. What is the story? When you start this game, when you learn the moon is falling and time resets. What else happens? To the end of the game. What is What's the, the story? It's all you gotta do. It's super fucking simple, guys. Write it out. Write the story of Majora's Mask on a piece of paper <laughs> and take a picture of it. Learning about the world, learning about why Skull Kid is doing this, and learning about how everyone feels about the moon falling. That's not a story. Learning about the world? You mean when you just travel and then you solve... You solve, like, a, a problem that has nothing to do with the main narrative? Is that learning about the world to you? Or is it when you talk to 14 people? Because there's not that many NPCs in, like, Clock Town and shit. I don't even know why this fish boss exists. The only story you get is... Majora was sad, was was bullied, and you get that right at the beginning again. When you go into the 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 swamp, you get your little bit of Majora. You get your little right. bit of Skull yeah, Kid. Yeah, that may be it. You, uh, tattle or tail sees a little. That's scribble. it, dude. They There's no fucking story. The and then it's what uh, finding out that that Andrew's gonna marry a child. Is that does that does that have anything to do with? I knew she was going to do that. I was thinking about that. I'm like, is she? And she's going to marry a child because she's a fucking creep. Okay. Super Nazars is still writing out the story. It must be super long <laughs> and in-depth. Chelsea, we should teach folks here about how plot structures and stuff work. <laughs> it's like, there's no fucking story to this game. Why do you rescue the monkey? I don't fucking know. Does it matter? You rescue the monkey so that you can go into a dungeon. Yeah, you gotta get a dungeon, you gotta get a mask, essentially. He's and borderline that's it. a side quest that has nothing to do with Majora. It, and it, if, if the comparison that's is. It's a side quest. It's not the main story. It's the main story, but it's not really a part of the I story. Don't care. It's filler content. It's like a filler uh, episode. Do we call. Do we care about. I know Nexus doesn't have a talking point in this because I know he loves filler. Like, it's not. Ne filler isn't necessary to, like, the main thing. It's just not. It doesn't move the main story along. There's no there's no reveals, nothing. Nothing happens in this game except for a bunch of side bullshit. Mm -hmm. Because we're not counting, when we talk about Ocarina, we're not counting the part where you save the you save the Gorons and stuff. I'm not counting I didn't count any of that. No. If we count that, then this then fucking Ocarina shits all over this game. Oh, there's. Oh, I'll have to try that. And then, and then everything happens at the end. So there's some shit that happens at the end. You go on the moon. You talk to kids. There's stuff at the end you do. And that's it. Everything in the middle is just fucking. This place is injured. You gotta heal it. Perhaps you should stick to bolt gun. <laughs> uh, absolutely. That game is awesome. Don't threaten me with a good time. Skull Kid use Keffy to be a child. That's part of the overarching story. Anju Kefki plot isn't related. Oh, it's like two people. They're, they're fighting at each other, sort of. Just, Why is... I have a question. It should be way simple. Why... I have a question, Arrested. I'm calling you out. Why is me asking for more story equivalent to essentially saying that I shouldn't have any story at all? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying I should stick to Bolt Gun? When I'm only asking for more story. Dude, it's it's wild. They can't it's not it's a Zelda game. There's a they have they should have a little bit of a story. It's like you You're alluding to that. You're saying perhaps you should stick to Bolt Gun, which is just an action game essentially. It's like Doom. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Oh wait, wait, wait. I want, this is, uh, Melifin has an example, but he's not sure how good it'll be, okay? okay. In the Saiyan arch arc, Goku has a run through Snake Way to get to King Kai. That's the main plot, is to get to King Kai. The episode where he gales and is in hell and has to get back, and the other stuff with the succubus snake woman and stuff, that's B-plot. Yeah. That's not the main narrative. Yeah. And if you notice, in Dragon this Ball game, Z Kai, what do they skip? <laughs> this game is you start on Snake Way, and then you get to the end of Snake Way. And then all that stuff in the middle is that happened in filler content, that's the story of Majora's Mask. It's a good example. Again, the fact that... The fact that you guys don't... The fact that you, none of you have... 
what an is answer it? to this. Now, I know Super Nazar's already on it. He said he's writing it out. He's writing it out. There's like there's like 16 of you here counting him. And what I'll do is I'll... Can I'll... anybody write out what the fucking story is in the middle of this video game? Just write it out. And if we're gonna... It, and if beginning. his only way of doing it is to add in like, okay, right. well, the, this area is cold and then you make it warm. Like, that doesn't fucking count because if you want to start doing the play in that game, then I'll throw in... The, like all of Ocarina's story, and then it'll also just shit all over, all over Majora's Mask. It'll it'll probably in perpetuity continually shit all over it. Oh, this boss sucks. At least you made a save point. That's actually a good good job doing that. All right, Arius says you are riding your horse. The fairies attack you, and Skull Kid takes your ocarina, and you get cursed. You go to the mask guy. He helps you leave. You do many things. You do many things. Leave clock down and go to the forest to help them. That's just the beginning. Yeah, and then you... That's it. That's the whole story. Because after, after this, it's just running around and, like... Like, going... Like, do we care that that, that Lulu girl doesn't have her voice because it's murky in the water? Is that really interesting <laughs> to the main story? Or is that filler fucking content? I don't consider... I don't think anyone considers filler to be the main story, potentially other than Nexus, who maybe yeah. thinks it's mandatory. And then, the, and then if you do think that's a, the story, well, then it's well. a fucking mega shit story. Mm. And then I don't want to hear anybody bitch about Tears of the Kingdom. When lack like of an story. MMORPG tells me to deliver a fucking cake to someone, I don't consider that story. Why does there need to be three things in the start of OOT? Could have just been the Deku tree. Why are there seven sages? Could have been five. And it would still would have shit all over this game with that, yeah. with that little bit of content. It still would have had a much bigger, like uh, more interesting story. I'm glad I kind of thought of this when I was jogging. <laughs> I was like, there's no story in this game. I never beat this boss. I hate him so much. Yes. Oni's got it. Smaller plots can contribute to the overall theme, but not the main plot. Correct. Thank you, Oni. Or, sorry, Melophon. I'm still very much used to calling you by your old name. He's gonna eat me because it takes so long to get on the thing. Chelsea, are you telling me delivering pizza as Saijima without slipping <laughs> on the ice Is that... isn't part of the story? I'm sorry. <laughs> I think there's a rift between our definition of stories. Potentially. Uh, well, okay, we'll go with interesting story. Mine's then. the correct one. I want main story. I don't yeah. want any subplots, B plots, C plots, whatever. I want what is the A What is the story? story? Is it more than just moon falling? It is not more than moonfall, fix moon. <laughs> That's literally the only story in this game. Also, if you're in the Discord. Oh shit, someone posted stuff. Also, if you're in the Discord, please feel free to post your evidence. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to look at it. Because I will. I will, I w if I am wrong, I will say that I am wrong, but I will still say that it's shit. Does that make sense? I don't, it's a worse story. Wrong, I know I'm not wrong. It really is that. This is the rest of the game. After you do the, the stone tower, you're just, you this just go into the moon. It's not rage bait, legitimately. Discussion to rage is, bait? This is, liter this is literally what I thought about yesterday when we ended the stream. I was like, what is happening? Why it's can't not I rage bait because you, it's fucking true. It's true, though. <laughs> like, what is rage bait, then? Yeah, because you got mad? It, that doesn't make a rage bait. I thought of this on if my If it wasn't true, yesterday. you wouldn't be getting mad. You just say you guys are dumb and wrong, but you have no counter because you know it's you know it to be true. Rage bait is when they say something I don't agree with. It's not rage bait. Now, Arius is trying to explain what the story is. He's explaining the story of essentially each dungeon and what That's you do in not... each dungeon. That's not. Then it's a shit fucking story because mm -hmm. all you're doing is you go. Okay, so the dungeon's poisoned. Okay, well then we'll get into that. Okay, more, you. More, then listen. Ocarina is you go to. Then you go to up I'll the mountain. I'll explain this again. <laughs> lore is not story. Okay. Lore is set dressing. That's all lore ever is. Now, if we want to talk about lore, all the Souls games have oodles of lore. But they're shit stories. The stories are terrible. The, sto the story's garbage. Like, the story okay. you play through is dog shit. I don't care about your lore. I've seen many devs 
write shit tons of lore. And then they skimp on the actual What's the story overall of the game? plot of the game besides Moonfall? There is no story in this game. Or if there is one, it's extremely, extremely minimal. It's just go to this place and cure it. That's not a story, then... Okay, what is this? That's a good... Or it's a shit filler story for... This is not filler. rage bait. This is not rage bait at all. The dude, how dare you? This is not rage bait. I'm legitimately... I was legitimately It sounds like trying... rage bait because it's dumb as hell. All you gotta do is write down the story of Majora's Mask. Not the B plots, not the C <laughs> plots, not the side quests. What's... Is it anything more What's than, the main plot than, of Majora's is Mask? Is it anything more than Moonfall Down? It's simple. Stop Moon. You guys are mad because you can't do it. Because you've been jerking Dude, off to a fucking I've read all sorts this game of, for your whole life. We're talking about short stories. I've read a shit ton of short stories and watched them too. Short stories are great. You can get a lot out, very little. It sounds like you got... No, I don't want you to describe a sequence of events. I want you to tell me what the story of Majora's Just, Mask is. In fact, I'm saying don't describe the sequence of events. <laughs> the sequence of events is, is technically pretty boring. It would just be then you go to the swamp and then you help a monkey. And then you go and you, into the dungeon and you get a mask and you get a giant. That's a shit story. If you want to count that as sto a story, it's a shit story, but I can do the same thing with Ocarina, if this and it shits all over this game because each dungeon has its own little plot going if into you're it. Saying and I'm not this, even counting that. If you're saying that this is a simple story, then I'm saying it's bad. Okay? It's not short. <laughs> it's not short, simple. It's a simple story is what they're saying. If it's simple, it's bad. It's bad and it's not done properly, and I don't care the moon how long is falling, they have to do it. And then the three day, you do okay. a bunch of fucking bullshit, and then you stop. You go into the moon. Once we do these three dun these dungeons, you walk into the moon, and it's over. It's the end of the game. Nothing fucking happened. You <laughs> ran around a bunch, <laughs> and that's it. Okay. No, there's no major. There's no mid like. I mean, shit, dude. Cat in the Hat is simple, and those are fucking great. There's no like section where you find like where. Where the skull kid gets Green the upper and hand. Ham. Very simple. Green eggs and ham is easy to grasp. It's an intro the and an hungry, ending. The hungry caterpillar is a short story. That one's great too. <laughs> what is this game? This is a video game. Like, just write down the story. Beyond, like after the first hour. Not what's the, see, what's not the story the, after the first hour of this game? Give me the story. I is don't, it walk back into Moon later and then fight there's Majora? There's obviously a sequence of events in the story. That's how you're going to explain it. But I don't want the dungeons. I don't want the side But that's quests. not the story. That's just like I, what you do no, in a like, video game. No, like list it out. Tell me what I'm that's doing. Like me, that's like me describing Mario as how I collected every single and star. And then I went into <laughs> Wet Dry World. And then I did eight <laughs> levels in Wet Dry World. No, the story is Princess Peach is missing. You go to her fucking castle You fight Bowser for seven cake. times and then you win. Bowser took all the fucking things. Then you do a bunch of bullshit yeah. in the middle. And then I you like fight Bowser. Stories. Waffle House. You don't like simple stories? and No, it's what happens for fucking 90% of this video game. How did Wet Dry World make you feel? <laughs> what happens for ninety percent of the, like? There's all, a, the first after the first play. hour. There's nothing in this game. There nothing happens until the end. That's not a simple story. That's a fucking barren story. I did feel actually a negative emotional aura from Wet Dry World. <laughs> I absolutely yeah, was, did, especially sucked. more so the world where you get small and then big again. And I hate that underground level. That's through like a weird. It's through a painting that's on the ground, but it's metallic looking. Who's your favorite person from Ocarina of Time? I'm gonna say Navi. No, Saria. I actually like Saria. I like how she helped me out. I could literally just call her up at all hours and she'd be there to tell me where to go. Where's the story in Alpengul? Oh shit. <laughs> uh, beat the game properly. Yes, yeah, so there actually is a story. There's a huge story. <laughs> you just have to actually do more. And the tapes actually give me more now. All right, Although I would say Alpengul has a shit story. It has a lot of lore, but a shit story. You don't... Nothing really happens besides you sli like sliding around, getting away mm -hmm. from the thing, then finding, you know, maybe getting tricked into doing something, and then having a, a segment at the end. It has lore for sure. But it's not a good story. Like, there's no st I wouldn't say Alpengul is, has a strong story. You, it's you motherfuckers telling me that Majora's Mask has a, has a good story. You've been at this fucking boss for like 40 minutes. Can I know. Some, anyone? I'm doing it right. It's oh, you're just doing it? Weird. It's just tricky? Okay, yeah, okay. It's just weird. You take, um, you take like three hearts of damage, or two hearts of damage, so I can't fuck up 
more than twice. Oh shit, he wrote out a lot. If it if if it even talks about read it off. You want me to read the Alright, I'm reading the whole thing. Do you want to beat this boss first before I read it? No, I have nothing better to do but here. Okay. Is. The Deku Princess we already know the beginning, so I'll just say the rest. Alright, here we go. The Deku Princess is missing. The king foolishly rushes to conclusions Sit. and blames That's the monkey. Shit. That's shit! That's all shit explosion. parts! That's filler! You fucking want me to skip cut that? it! Yeah, that's okay, fucking okay. filler! The next point is What does the princess have to do with Majora? Besides the fact that it's effect like what does that side story have to do with anything? I There's don't a know. random filler of fucking content. The man's too mad, Can't What's focus. the next one? <laughs> uh with the Gorons, you learn that the place is under winter for some reason. Darmani tells you that he ki he was killed on the way to solve it. The patriarch is out there and probably dead. And these are great little short stories what does this have to do own. with the overall plot these are great little sub stories on their own almost as if they're side quests. <laughs> yeah these are side <laughs> skip it this has the nothing to do thing, with the overall story the only thing is that you free a this giant. has nothing to do with the story of majora this you, is a, this is just you free a giant at the end that's really the only because then tears of the kingdom has the greatest story ever written because you go and do and do side content up until the end after, it has an awesome story after you story, gather actually. all the giants you stop the moon and it's revealed oh spoilers <laughs> it's the end there's the end of the game there after you he basically listed out the four dungeons yeah that's fucking stupid that's such a dumb take <laughs> you want to know why because i could sit there and do this with ocarina and it would shit all over this game if i want to do that then this has then it has an like i could go into ocarina and be like oh, then you go to the fucking you go to the mines and then you fucking talk to this guy and then you I you can't. play a song for the fucking darkly Goron don't even and he do that. dances darkly there's a game i really love called judgment it's one of the yakuza type spin-off games it has mandatory side quests. Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> Which I would say that this is as well. You, you're going to tell me that the, the awesome, like, the, the thing that really held you, like, held your attention narrative-wise was the part where you made Darunia dance with a fucking ocarina, and then he called you brother and you went into a thing. Like, that's not interesting fucking story. That's boring as shit. You got to do it to make have an excuse for a dungeon. They are side quests. There's no fucking I don't fucking care plot. if it's mandatory. In Yakuza, I have to chase a guy, or not Yakuza. In Judgment, I have to chase a guy whose hair flies off of his head, and it's mandatory. It has nothing to do with the story. Is that excellent story? In fact, they interrupt the main story with this side bullshit that's mandatory that has nothing to do with the story. It just interrupts you. It's infuriating. <laughs> All you did was write out the steps to beat the game, but that's not really a plot. It's a bunch of filler content that has nothing to do with the main story that's just made to fill the game out so you have an excuse to go into a what dungeon. What does the Goron starving in OOT have to do with the overall plot? Like, that's not an interesting story. This isn't the narrative being told. This is, this is content to fill out a game. Because none of this has anything to do with fucking Majora's Moon. They don't even, like, talk about it. That no one brings it up. There's no. There's nothing to push. No one's coming up with ideas on how to stop the moon. The most you get is the people talking in the mayor's in the mayor's room, talking about how oh, the wait, fucking. Oh question. Oh oh. How they're gonna wait, deal with the moon. There was a question. What does the Goron starving in OOT have to do with the overall plot? Uh, Ganon stopped them from getting rocks or some shit. That's probably Ganon, yeah. It's Ganon related. Ooh. <laughs> That's really interesting narrative. Really, really, really pulling me through this whole story. Well, that's an OOT. I yeah, would that say that's a thing. I don't have to mention any of that, and it has a more interesting plot than this game. Mm -hmm. I don't have to mention any of the, the filler fucking dungeon content. Oh, like, yeah. I don't have to talk about fucking Rito getting married and shit. Because that doesn't even count. That's fucking just Majora filler nonsense. Majora froze over the mountains. Oh. I don't know if he did. Because <laughs> then I would be like, oh yeah, Kingdom Hearts has the best fucking story ever because you visit all these Disney worlds. Broccoli, this place is a kangaroo court. <laughs> From <laughs> Nexus. <laughs> oh, uh, ne Dick Sauce has a good one where you should have your save as soon as you hit the top of this platform. Oh, that's true. I it's agree. a fantastic one. Majora pulled the moon down is it. That's all you got. That is it. Everything else is... No one even talks about the moon. There's no plans. Like, even fucking Twilight Princess has a group that's trying to figure out what's going on with the world, and shit moves forward. And that is a fucking garbage story. <laughs> and it still has, like, things that happen that we actually drive the story. Um, what up here? Hold Wait, on. did I get hit? No, I didn't get hit. I'm gonna create a new one, though. Um, I know Filler basically killed Bleach. I killed that show because it was entirely filler. 
all the time. And it's other narrative problems killed it, probably more so. But if we're talking about like Inuyasha and stuff. Cause then you filled you killed a big fish. Does everyone, isn't really the main plot. It's, does everyone have to talk about the moon for you to be satisfied? It would certainly They should probably it bring it up more than fucking <laughs> twice in the whole game. It would certainly oh, Yeah, happen. what the fuck are you talking about? How many people bring up? Does this story need to happen for you guys to count it as a story? Do things need to happen in the game for you guys to consider it a story? Do people have to talk about Majora? Yeah, it's called Majora's Mask and he's the big fucking threat. Oh my god, you guys cope so fucking hard because you know you're wrong here, and yet you can, you have no fucking counter to this. So you're gonna tell me about how the fucking princess, princess <laughs> nut needs to save a fucking monkey, and now you're gonna tell me that's part of the, this is some epic tale that you're so fucking invested in. Get the fuck out of here. You're so wrong, all of you. And it's not rage bait, because you guys should you should easily oh. be able to counter this if it was. Alex, Alex says. Kingdom Hearts story is actually very good and not ridiculous or embarrassing. Well, let me tell you why. This is Ventus and he looks like Raptus, who is Sora after Sora is killed no, by in Sora. This, Take for this, for this, it would be, it would be, um... Matt's all, getting uh, manic. He's it, not. He's not It would be, manic. I'm having fun. It would be all the, um... I do hate this, this yes. boss, though. He's not helping with my What if they find out there's state. more to Majora's Mask than they think? Uh, that it might have more of a mind of its own. Throw that in the middle of story. There's yes. something. Something that only get. Uh, you beat two Melofin. dungeons and then you find out something really critical. Melofin absolutely. It's so fucking simple. Melofin absolutely understands what we're saying. Yeah. Absolutely 100% gets it. <laughs> and I think Meep gets it as well. Yes. It would be something happening like halfway through that changes something, the way you're perceiving the situation. Anything would be fucking better than nothing. And it, cause like with your excuse, it would be like, okay, then Kingdom Hearts has the best story cause it's seven Disney movies. <laughs> it's trapped in one. It's like, no, all that shit, if you talk to anybody, yeah, that's the the, all the, all the Disney shit is, is filler nonsense the that no one even is wants. That, the problem is that they stop the story at the beginning of this game and they continue it at the end. That's, that's literally it. the problem. That's the whole story. There's nothing in the and middle the, of this game that has anything to do you with You guys can plot. like that, but to say there's there's a story yeah, is fucking ridiculous. It, I, listen, I, I don't care if you like it. <laughs> like you're lying. I'm just saying it has none. <laughs> it doesn't it does not have anything. <laughs> to say this is... It'd be like if I gave you a book and I gave you the beginning at the end and gave you a random list in the middle. <laughs> yeah, my grocery list for fucking 40 pages. And then you all are saying that's genius. <laughs> that's a great story. That's even a simple story. The beginning and just the end with nothing else. See, if someone said Ocarina of Time didn't have a story. Without the mask on? Yeah, he, he does. He's a little- He has a nut. Is he the little- He's a bunch of nuts. No, I've only seen really the- you know that uh, back in the day, they had like an Unreal Engine animation and he has a little bird face? Dude, Is I would take, has? I would even take maybe the, a character, every character you rescue have like a, have a story where they talk about Skull Kid and shit more. Like I would take anything <laughs> besides the nothing that you get. I can't beat this. I'll never beat this. I'm stuck here forever. This is, this is Majora's Mask punishing me for speaking against it. Like maybe all the characters talk about what it, like how there's like a little cutscene that plays out about the Skull Kid before all this happened, and they say like I don't think you'd ever do that. Someone knows about Majora and what Majora is maybe, and talks about Majora and the, besides the happy mask salesman in the first fucking hour of the game, maybe someone else fucking brings up Majora. That'd be Frodo cool. Frodo has to carry a ring. To, this may be the worst example you've come up with, by the way. Frodo has to carry the ring to Mount Doom. Hmm, seems like a bad story. Except for all the other characters doing shit. You're telling stupid me ass. that all that happens is a man that takes a ring to a mountain? You're forgetting. <sighs> I don't know how else to explain it. You're all dumb. If I gave you a book. <laughs> like, I don't know how to help you. If I gave you a book and I cut out the whole middle. <laughs> And just had blank pages that you turn and called that gameplay. No, the real, the, the <laughs> correct, the correct response is this game is full of Tom Bombadil. If you're too dumb to understand <laughs> what that means, then you aren't ready for this discussion. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. 
The problem is, is that this story is just boy wa is is the is what you just described. His guy just goes to Mount Doom and then throws ring in. That is this this game's story. Stuff happens in the middle of Ocarina. This is the this is all this game is in story. And your example of how that shit is a great example as to why this game has no fucking story. Cause all it is is Moonfall, man, boy stops moon. There really isn't anything more than that. He gets cursed, he takes the curse off. It's all happened everything in the first hour is great. That all is good story. Stuff is happening that pushes the narrative forward. And then it just stops for fucking 75% of this game. Maybe even more. So when Aqua got trapped in the Shadow Realm and Mickey Mouse learned how to kill people with the Keyblade, <laughs> meanwhile Riku was possessed by Ansem, but was not the real Ansem. That's all actual story. That's shit that's going it's on. It's goofy. It's dumb, but that's all. It's that is all that's, that's actual shit that's happening. This is all fucking Tom Bombadil. <laughs> Stuff that doesn't affect the overall plot in any way. None of the characters even bring up the moon. Nothing. It has nothing to do. It's literally I have broken Tolkien upon my knee. <laughs> Because there's a. <laughs> Ocarina of Time is. is, uh, Lord of the Rings. And Majora's Mask is just the first five pages of Lord of the Rings and the last five pages. That's all it is. You have to sort of guess what the rest is. And then nothing of, of substance happens. Listen, I'm sorry your game didn't have story. I didn't ask it to do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, 2K uh, uh, Darkly says Anyway, Tears of the Kingdom changed my life, Matt So you were right, my Legos have never been so fine <laughs> <laughs> It has the same amount of like it, it has the same amount of story this game has This with is Link just your alone. bias for the western story structure I feel sorry for you <laughs> No, not at all I would say Devil May Cry, though, it has way more story than this. <laughs> and that has, like, a fucking bullshit story that's just meant for you to fight things. <laughs> this game is all set up. It has payoff, but nothing to really, like, for anything else. That's honestly why I've fallen off hard from it. Like, truly. I need more than just play in our sandbox, sort of. Like, I, I need more than that. Alex, I'll have a fun time. Brock boy, Alex, I'll have a fun time. Re I'll have to tell him to rewatch this. Yeah, not, not Alex and chat. The different Alex. Turns out there's a lot of Alexes, like a lot. I probably can't beat this boss ever. So you hit him, and then you turn back, and then you, you do this, right? You do that, and then you, and then you come back, all right? And then you gotta do it perfectly or you get eaten. I mean, most of Lord of the I Rings is literally them trying to gather an army to fight Saruman or whoever. You know, like, that's that's all helping Frodo, which is serving the actual overall plot. But, you know. Every other Zelda has a story that I can... I can... Kozu? I could do that. I could call you Kozu. Who's Kozu? Al the other Alex in chat. Okay. So when did we... You, we pretty much started this when you started the boss fight, I think. I'm, I'm, I'm literally saying it doesn't have a story because it's missing an entire middle of the story. It oh, literally, it literally only has a beginning, and then once that beginning is over in the first, oh, like, 40 I minutes of the game, it doesn't so give much. you anything else. Uh, You'll get a lot of sub-stories for, like, side quests But they don't stuff, push the overall it's, narrative. It's, that's, what, that's all I'm saying is what Matt just said. Is if, you can't, not, if you can't figure out the difference... Koza? Okay, sorry. Koza. Like, it's... Like, if you don't know the difference, then... Don't write a don't write a story. It's none of none of this middle stuff is really doing anything for the overarching story. 
of, of trying... The only thing that you have to do to stop the moon is essentially... Matt's gonna get a mask at the end of this. You collect four MacGuffins. And, and then, then you that's get, it. And then the moon's done. And then you fix the moon. And a, a giant is gonna sing to him. Nothing is learned. You don't get any, any interesting info on Majora. Like I said, the reason he's so mysterious is because nothing fucking happens in this game. Does The Hobbit even have a story? I've never read The That's Hobbit. It's a bunch of story. I've only seen the movies. And I think the movies are bad, but the movies certainly are telling a story. Arrested at Waffle House has gone in the opposite direction and has completely simplified it. It's because he he's might not be smart enough to realize why his example's dumb. The Lord of the Rings movie may be not a good example of something not like having if, a story. If, if he really truly thinks that guy that Frodo walks to walks to Frodo goes to mountain and throws in throws in a a ring is the story of the Lord of the Rings, then he's not equipped to continue this conversation. Which Matt, which Devil May Cry was the really bad one that I played? Uh Devil May Cry 2. It was 2, okay. If he thought that was a really big own, then he's just not ready. He's not prepped. He doesn't know. Sweet summer child. Tell me what. Tell me why it has a story and none of it is side story stuff. What for? For the Hobbit? <laughs> oh no, the Lord of the Rings. Because I, it pushes the story forward constantly. I don't. I don't think we should have to explain oh why Lord God. of the Rings is the best probably story. Oh in a movie my for him. God. He's too silly. You silly boy, or whoever. I don't know who. You silly Have you, have you read house? the books? Do you know about Tom Bombadil? And how the whole thing happens and none of it mattered to the main plot? Do you know when they go through, like... When they're traveling towards their locations and, and they're... they're... Oh, let me break this down. They learn... They As they're walking, they're constantly learning more about Sauron. They're gathering armies... They're pulling people to fight for... They're going All of war. these things are approaching their goal of defeating Sauron. Everything that has to do with defeating Sauron is the main plot. It's pushing it forward. In this game, none of this shit besides picking up a fucking mask really has anything to do with Majora. You learn nothing about Majora. Nothing fucking happens. You, the moon falls. Is the UFOs? Is helping the little girl with the cows UFOs? Are those part of the main? Do you that think that's that's main, main plot? Do you think that has that that pushed the the fucking story forward about Majora? What this the world the end of the world means and represents to these people? Ooh, that was close. <laughs> if you think this is a gotcha, I don't know how to help you. If you think this is one of those gotcha moments, I don't understand how you can not understand the difference between all this fucking filler content that has nothing to do with Majora versus every step they took towards the mountain actually representing part of the story because it is another step towards their goal. Gucci Gamer, as you save characters and learn about them, you build your relationship with them and strengthen your resolve to save them all. It pushes the story in an emotional level rather than an objective one. But I, you reset time. <laughs> you reset time, so anything you do for them is moot. <laughs> I guess it's so when the guy fucking tells you about his dog leader <laughs> and then gives you a mask, you thought that was really fucking compelling narrative. You thought well, that really helped did. the- I don't know if they did, but they're just saying. Like, you think that's super compelling narrative? There's two- there's like two fucking sub-stories that actually help with the overall story. Alright, so this There's is the marriage one, and there's the stuff that oh, happens shit. at Romani Ranch. One second. And that's it. Koza. Okay. Or Koza. This is Koza. So how's this? Majora's Mask is not Link's story, but a story he visits. You aren't the main Whatever, character. Whatever, you can cope. No, it's I don't want to hear it. I don't even want to hear it. Termina. This no, is no. another, this is YouTube cope shit. This is YouTube they're saying, essay. They're saying that this might make it more engaging to see it this way. It didn't. Chelsea quit the game because she was I bored. I quit the game. It didn't work. Uh, a better example of the useful, sort of useful idiot thing, but not really an idiot, is probably the newest, like, Mad Max movie. 
It's not Max's movie, it's Furiosa's movie. But even still, a lot of shit but happens it's in that really movie. Good. They <laughs> it just they discuss the state story. of the world. There's there's And scenes... that movie can be reduced to it's a race and then it's a chase. Yeah, and but it still a lot, has a lot more. There's a lot of story that happens in that movie. They talk about the state of the world, what happened to <gasps> it, how it got this way. Oh no, arrested at Wobble House. I've come around to it. Majora's Mask has the best story. This is easily the best Zelda. <laughs> There's a kangaroo court. I'm putting you in contempt, dude. You're just you're being silly. You're in contempt of court man. now. You're behind bars. He this thinks is Skyrim courtroom. is the best story ever written. Tom Bombadil is the forest dude, silly man, all powerful, could easily deal with stuff. But doesn't concern himself with the matters of mankind. But none of it, none of the, no character talks about him after they leave. It was just a weird fucking thing oh, that happened. The back it in didn't the day. push the story forward at all. And I think even Tom Bombadil talks about the state of the world more than like the fucking monkey in a cage does. <laughs> so Tom Bombadil might have more of a fucking story relevance than the fucking monkey in a cage. Mad Max, though, the, the newest one, Fury Road, still has a lot of story in it. Even if it's not the ga the guy's name on the front, Mad Max, he still is sort of a crucial part in that story. In fact, if he wasn't there, it would probably all go to shit. Do I need to look up how to beat this fish? I'm doing it right, but you have to. You can't fuck it up at all, or he eats you and takes two hearts. Okay, okay. I have two hits. Basically, I have to hit him and get back on the shore. Um. If I fuck up the, the diving onto the platform, I lose. Basically. I can also be pushed into it. I also have to switch masks constantly, which is uh, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Shit. So I gotta constantly take the mask off, shoot the arrow. He falls down, then I put the mask on. Oh, right, whoa. and then I jump oh, I in. I, I jump in, and then I gotta like kind of maneuver down to him. And I gotta do it quickly. Like that took too long, so now I have to. No, you I have to jump back onto the thing. If you've never seen Mad Max Fury Road, then you won't know what I'm talking about. And you won't be able to understand the comparison well. I don't even think this is a controversial statement that this game doesn't really have a story. Furiosa and Mad Max are practically together the entire movie. This is Link by himself. I don't consider ta Tail anybody because she doesn't say anything. All you have, do you think it's a really good story when like or Tattle in the, the new Star Wars they just travel from one planet to the other, they pick up an item and that's it? Like, is that compelling? Most people actually didn't no, like that. Me fucking up. Most people actually didn't like those. It's all this hat. This is just a MacGuffin dialogue. quest. <laughs> it's not a good story. It's got vibes. That's it. This is—I don't even know if this was a thing you can argue. Like it is—it's just vibes. Before we started, I was like, I'm actually not sure if this is a hot take or not. Most of it's not even compelling. Like most of the content, besides the marriage one. Get a mat. Like the whole like, oh, you learn to love these characters. It's like. Uh, I've reset Do you? Time. They talk like one time to each one. Do I love the person that's my cashier because I talk to him? Like, <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. The Andrew and Ka the Andrew story one is like one of the more compelling ones. Uh, there's a toilet hand. Is that were you? Did you were you compelled by the toilet hand? There's so there's one with there's the two characters off at the Romani Ranch that can be interesting. They at least talk about the the moon falling at the end. Most characters just kind of fuck off on the third day. Like, if we want to say each side character has their own side story, and thus that makes this game's story good? But the overall narrative kind no. of blows. Like, the mailman has a side story. But it has nothing to do with... <laughs> what the fuck do I care? There's no overall plot that really pulls you through it. Now, There's in, just... in Ocarina of Time, you got motherfucking Zelda, number one. You got Sheik coming in later, number two. You got fucking Ganon constantly showing all up All these people are working together to you. stop the main villain. They all don't like Ganon. I don't think I'm ever going to um, beat this. The fact that you meet all the sages in the past and go into the future and something fucked up happens to them <laughs> is really, really cool. Yeah, they all, have to, they all die. <laughs> 
there. They all die in service of the main story. And even those characters, you know what? They tie in better than fucking those fuck. That story of Darunio that kind of has nothing to do with it ties in better to the main story than anything in this game because that character becomes a vessel to beating Ganon. So everyone you've met on your journey becomes part of the story to beat Ganon. In this, you collect a fucking mask and you talk to a giant that had nothing to do with the previous shit you did. It's not like the fucking Deku chick and her dad help you to fight to stop the moon. Uh, none of the, the Indiegogos don't come in and play fucking music to put the moon to sleep or something. Nothing. You just collect a mask and talk to a giant that have, are completely separate from anything that happened in that. So Darunia has... The, the, the part where you become blood brothers with Darunia, even though all that shit doesn't even matter, I didn't even count it, still has more value to the overall story than anything that happens in this game. <laughs> Alright, beat this boss. Okay, I'm gonna focus on it now. <clears throat> I win, all your arguments are poopy buttholes. Kinda are. You're fucking bringing up Lord of the Rings? <laughs> poopy butthole. Not good. You tried to use Lord of the Rings- Because I can turn this story actually into Moonfall and then stop Moon, you thought you could do the same with, uh... Get Ring, you... destroy Ring from Frodo? Yeah, but then you, you had to skip, like, a ton, tons of actual story, whereas I didn't have to to make Silly. that- To say that about Majora's Mask. Your simplified version of Lord of the Rings is as complicated as the unsimplified version of Majora's Mask. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, wait, here's a good one. Matt, what if I... Now, don't interrupt, okay? Matt, what if I told you the giant gives you a special mask if you collect enough Riddler trophies? How's that story now? <laughs> <laughs> According... Some, uh, some of you... Some of you get what we're saying and agree. Some of you guys are... Some of you get it. And some of you are coping mega hard. Because you just realized like a, uh... that you've watched 40 fucking S <laughs> YouTube essays on a game that doesn't even have a story and it just has vibes. I'm sorry you had to be awake awoken this way. <laughs> I'm sorry. On a Brock Boys. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry it was the Brock Boys who fucking now, told you first. one of you, I don't remember who, but one of you said, who cares about internet arguments or something like that? And then here we are. <laughs> Who cares about what the internet YouTuber says in their video? It's because you guys are willing to fight us for like 40 minutes. It's fun. And it's great. This is actually why I like our chat and stuff. We don't argue all of the no, time. No, it's fun. But I, I do like the... Uh, now I, I gotta actually fight this guy. <laughs> I do like legitimate discussions about stuff. Ooh, get fucking regular snipes. Now, can Matt do this? Do you no, do I don't. Snipe? I honestly, I don't know if I can do it. Like, you can you can throw out my whole argument because I can't fight Gorg. Please do. And, uh, you All right, Matt's up. Matt, we'll keep mine, though, because I think mine's still solid. The cuckoo, the cuckoo man wants to see them grow up before the end times, but has gone into a depression because he can't. The carpenters are in denial that the moon is going to crash. The soldiers are desperate to evacuate and save everyone, as many lives as possible. No, they aren't. Well, they do. They have one cutscene. That's, that's not a major story. Sounds, we're good. That's, that's, one, that's one part where you talk. I, would, I actually counted that, by okay. the way. Okay, Darkly says, Don't get me wrong, I still think this take is super wrong, but arguing it makes me feel alive. <laughs> don't die. That's the best advice you could give Matt right now, is just don't die. Um... I mean, if you want to talk about every single, like... Your thing is you're gonna talk about every part of the game. Well, then this, then Ocarina shits all over this game. Ocarina still has the much better. It has story. so much more story than this. It has. And then this would also, if you want to do that, then Here. this has the worst story in the entire series. Because even when you break it down like that, it has less going on than every other, yeah. every other Zelda game. Mm -hmm. So um, cool. We'll actually... count all those, and now it's still the worst story in the fucking series. Ocarina of Time. I was actually honestly really skeptical to play because I was like, oh my god, if I don't like this game, everyone's gonna fucking scream at me. Right? But I actually really liked it a lot, and I was surprised at how well it holds up because a lot of those... I've seen... I'd call them tropes now, but it's just reused things that they do in the newer Zeldas. Like, I've seen all that before. And I'm like, oh my god! Why is Ocarina of Time so fucking good? 
Like everything was still working. Like when Ganon shows up and there's lightning behind him when he's chasing them on the horse, when she chucked the ocarina. I'm like, oh my God, this is so fucking cool. There's a thing, I don't care about internet opinions. However, arguing on the internet is fun. It is fun. Yeah. You can use the electric you know what's not shield fun, though? to get out of his mouth. I don't, th I don't know if he has that. Gorg. What about it? What happened? Do you have the electric shield? You can get out of his mouth, apparently. If that's true, that's a game changer. How do you feel about... Lonk's a wonkening? I feel like I'm the only person who doesn't love that one. Um... I like the concepts. I've never played it. I think, I think it has more story than this game. Because they actually, you find things about the island mid midway through the game and how it's not a real island and stuff like that. And it has a, I like the story of it, but um, I've always bounced off of it by the end of it. Can we kill Alex Koza? <laughs> You're on the chopping block now. Now defend yourself. For what? <laughs> no, not you. Koza uh, in the chat. For what? For not liking Link's, Lonk's Awakening. Uh, I'm sorry. I mean, it's fine. The dude I, I says like... Link's Awakening is peak 2D Zelda. Uh... uh maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I never... I, have, I don't have a full opinion on it. Oni I think, has it. I think it has a cool twist. Oni's actually written it Better than any well. of the other Zeldas. Oni, you ty or not Oni, Melifin, you typed it out. Fantastic. Meep says, A Link to the Past and OG are my favorite 2D Zeldas. I'm never gonna beat this. I can't do it with, I, I don't know if I need more hearts. I'm trying to get good. I'm getting better. One year later, fish still not dead. Actually, I have a... Two hours. No, don't spoils. I might have to submit. <laughs> I might have to submit to this guy and come back later with Here's more. Matt. Gucci Gamer says, objectively, there's little story. Emotionally, there's tons. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there's vibes. I think the problem is that almost every story, side story, contributes to still step one of Moonfall. In fact, I think uh, Oni's ta Melifin's talking about raising the stakes. That's something that... There's no, there's no stake that's raising. That's something I think would really help this one out a lot for me. And I think all of us would agree that some type of stake raising that's not just go to the dungeons yeah. would vastly increase how and awesome And I feel, I feel like every... Be. Again, this might be just a fault of the three-day narrative thing, but I feel like... I feel like every, every all the side stories, if they do reference the moon, it, all it does is re -moon, re in, it reinforce Moonfall. And it could but be... But it that, that's just the first step of the story. It only reinforces what we already know. Nothing... Nothing changes what we know or moves anything forward. Mm -hmm. We just get constantly reinforced on what we know from the very beginning. And I, I think one of the main problems is uh, they went so fucking hard on Ocarina of Time. <laughs> yeah. Like when you go into the future and you see directly that Ganon has fucked this place up completely yeah. in partially massive your fault. ways. That's such a raise of the stakes that it's crazy. And I would say that after after that raising of the stakes, when the world ends, the story does stop in Ocarina of Time until you finally get to the end. Like it's just, I could just sum it as you collect the sages. I feel like the actual story plot moving forward completely stops after you come out of the. I think it's a, it's such a good strong moment um, that it carries you. The dude says a ma can, I'll just read it. The dude says the majority of the side quest things are caused by Majora and show the damage that is. Being done no, they're not. Terminal. The guy. Hold on. What the fuck are you talking about? No, they don't. There's. 
Most of the, like the toilet hand was that caused by Majora? Ooh. Name all of them. <laughs> There's. Are the aliens Majora? I can count the again the Romani Ranch one. Uh, Gorman's crying. That has not. That's nothing to do with Majora. Uh, I'm trying to even think of all of them. The old lady. The old lady <laughs> is that tells you stories has nothing to do with Majora. The woman who gets robbed has nothing to do with Majora. The dancers aren't Majora. The dancers have nothing to do with Majora. Uh, I'm trying. It's probably faster to pick up the ones that do have something to do with Majora. Um, the the kid was turned into a kid by Majora, so that's one. <laughs> and maybe the aliens. If they're caused by Majora. Uh, Koza says, I've always had trouble with Link's Awakening. It feels very almost there for me. I know I'm pretty alone there, but everything it does feels like a worse version of what was available elsewhere, like Link to the Past. Oh, the chicken guy, we if can say it was caused... that gets me killed, then hey, it was almost worth it. We can say the chicken guy because he is referencing the moon, which is caused by Majora. And time. It doesn't need to follow a regular way to tell a story. I would just like it to tell literally any, any story. Any story at all. Any at all. Other than more. I just want more. That's the, all I want. Moon fall down. Moon needs stop. Perfect. Good. But Can I need I stop? more. I can't even. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do this. I need more. I Mon it. Monica's still on your? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor fish. <laughs> This fish is keeping you around, listening to us scream. You're on the final night, too. I don't know, man. I don't know I'm gonna look fight. at... You, you said you know what to do, but he just keeps grabbing you? Well, it's... Yeah, I think I know what to do. I'm just not executing it right. It's not like goat where you just run into him. <laughs> I've still never seen Memento, but everyone says Memento was good. And that's not telling a story in a regular way. I think Looper does like the same thing. Or like a similar thing. So you come in, you hit him, right? And then you gotta get the fuck out of there. I, I want more info about... You know how Moon fall down, Moon needs stop? You know how they talk about Skull Kid right before you get into the, the swamp? I want more info. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, that. I want more of that, actually. When, when they pull you over and they talk about uh, the little drawing that tells you how Skull Kid used to be before he put on the map. That story. And then he turned into an asshole. Perfect. And then that's the last time they do that shit. That's the last time. It's a cutoff. That's what we're talking about. Stuff that actually has to do with an overall narrative. No one needs to be related to Majora. I just want to know more. I just need more. There's nothing. And I, I honestly think setting back the clock also kind of ruins it for me. That does that ways. doesn't bother me at all. That might just. I think be you me, could though. still tell a uh, tell a story. With I setting think they back the clock is fine. Oh yeah. my god, he hit me as. Oh my god, I hate this fight. Okay, wait. I have an idea that agrees with you. Okay. Spill it. Spill the beans. By. Are we saying about more twists specifically, or would it be better if more of the world motivations were directly impacted, the way Ganon is dwarfing all around Hyrule and OOT? Yeah, that would that Anything, would help. anything else. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> have that, though. It doesn't have to be exactly that. I'm just asking But for, other for stuff. Anything. Even Even something as simple as you go to go somewhere and Majora, like, cuts you off with some magic, or... Skull Kids cuts you off with some magic. And he interacts with Skull Kid. He literally just dances Ooh. on a fucking clock tower for the whole Dark game. Darkly says, every area could have had a flashback that shows what Skull Kid slash Majora did in each area before you got there. There you go. Now we're talking. Now bada it feels bing, connected. Bada bing, bada boom, dude. Because generic, like, oh, Skull Kid kind of maybe affected this area. Hello, Ricardo. It just isn't enough, because that would be like... The tribe that made the titular mask is a good candidate for an expanded story. Yes. Yes. Is that hard? <laughs> Every to... Zelda game does this fine, except this one. Is it? Is it honestly honest question? Is it too hard to ask for actual story? What is now? 
I know what it is now. Out. It's over. But I mean, retro retroactively. Well, I don't think anyone thought about it. You guys need to cut your losses and get some potions. That's what the dude says. I think I might have to. How but I don't know if I'll have enough time. Can you swim fast? Like, go. Jump up. That's as fast as I go. Can you try to land back on the platform so he doesn't <laughs> yeah. try to fucking eat you? That's what I try to do. <laughs> but sometimes I don't. I mess it up. You're still fighting the fish? Yes, we are. A Dude, I'm, yeah, I've been defeated. Also, it's funny because I think this is the first time you've talked and it's I'm that we're still fighting the fish. <laughs> I'm emotionally defeated. Jesus. I'm about to just... If I go back in time, how much many steps do I have to redo? <laughs> yes, when when Ganondorf, when you pull the Master Sword and Ganondorf literally says, tricked you, stupid, that's fucking amazing. That's story moments. It's that's, so that's, good. That's main plot narrative being moved. It's, it's everything's moving that's something along happening. forward, and that's so good. All right. Maybe while you're time traveling, Majora knows what you're doing and affects things more. Yeah, maybe he's yeah. he's he's omniscient. He knows he knows exactly what's going on. Because it's maybe everyone's maybe fucking the mass salesman also cuz he's out of time, he could start alluding the more shit about the story. When Ganondorf said it's Dorfin time, I felt that. Like yeah. he could he could come and say here's how I got the, the mask. And this is more about it. Like, okay, well, you've done this. I see you're working towards my our goal. And, like, anything. Literally anything. How do you stop him from ramming you? Uh, you I think, step away. You have to, like, jump. But it's hard to see him because he's in the water. Get him. Which is below my sight line. I think he can do it. <gasps> and then I think I do the same thing. Now, I might be able to kill these guys. Oh, this is a bit mean. But if he... Just jump back up. You have to jump back up as a fish. Uh, it's, it's like the only way. You have to do it the first time. Otherwise, he's going to get you. I don't know. He's going to get me because I need to get more magic. Try to jump up. Jump up and out. I'm trying. Jump up and out right now before he gets close. What do you mean? I have like, to get to the edge. No, I mean do try to dolphin dive so he can't grab you. He'll just grab me. Will he grab you out of the air? He's, he grabs me very oh, easily. Kill the mini fish with the Zora aura, and you'll get hearts. Okay. Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I personally blame the hard deadline for all the shortcoming in terms of vibe and emotional storytelling. It potentially is one of the better ones. They have the tribe, the moon, and the Ikana tribes. <gasps> they exist! <gasps> He's coming for you! If only I had a medium swim! <laughs> <laughs> He bumped into him. <gasps> oh! Oh, if only I had a medium swim. <laughs> you should climb up. Oh, you can still hit him down there? Yeah, get fucked, dipshit. What if I just fight him as a Zora? Oh, and not leave the water, really? What if I just keep bouncing into him and just timing my... Oh, you should try that. What if the way I'm doing it is a pain in the ass? What time is Turn it? Turn off the game and start the Link's Awakening playthrough, because you suck at this. <laughs> I do suck at this. That's not debatable. <laughs> That's 100% true. You know, they could have had the Icona tribe be the same as the Majora tribe, and that pays off the tribe mystery at the beginning of the game. That's why they're all dead. Boom. I would have loved that. That would have probably kept Chelsea invested. I really do need this. I really do need something to go. I understand that the goal is to get the moon. Like I get it because they showed me that at the beginning. But truly, I need. Uh, Look at you sitting okay, in Okay, that didn't mouth. work as well as I thought it could have. Dude, please need to chill out, man. Hello, Nicholas. Who needs to chill? I'll never be chill. I'm trying to entertain. Yes. I'm gonna go to bed and not think about any of this. <laughs> Shit! Actually, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be more upset about fucking Gorg than I'll Yakuza ever be. Just play Yakuza OG, bro. I'll be more upset about Gorg than anything we discussed. Baby game is too hard. This baby, this is this is hard. I don't know what's going on here. Can you? Is there like a cheese? Cause I've seen people cheesing. 
Meant to say that you know that Skull Kid was Child Link's best friend in Ocarina of Time before he became evil. And he also likes to play the Ocarina just like Link. Uh, Source? Some video, probably. He sure would have, should have mentioned it one time. Yakuza games are great. <laughs> that would have been nice. Bruh, if you want to get into Yakuza. They have a lot of story. They have a lot of story and a lot of side story stuff. I thought the Skull Kids were like a race. Well, yeah, there's more than one, and not a single one really brings that up. Smell like the fairy child that taught me that song in the forest. Skull Kid asked her you save him at the end of the game. They're not friends. That, that doesn't that's from that's, friendship. Was Link? F that's not friends. That was. That's just referencing a thing that happens in Ocarina, where you play that one song for. They're not friends. <laughs> where did you get the friends thing? He's just referencing a thing that happened in Ocarina. Skull kids are Kokiri that got trapped in the Lost Woods. I thought she said they all just... Oh, well, if they're Kokiri, I guess that's different. Did you know that Kiri who was Ocarina of Time Link? <laughs> Fuck. Dude, oh an awesome God. live stream buddy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I just, uh, I just wish there was more video game part of it. I wish I could beat Quark. <laughs> Listen, if I if I concede to the argument, does that can I beat Gorg that way? Do it. Do it. So All right, yeah, everyone's right but me. Okay. I'm still correct. Wanna, I'm not included in this. I just want to beat this, this guy Matt. now. Matt's been wrong the entire time. Yeah. You've, you've all been silly. I'm and, a stupid idiot. Please let me beat his, Gorg. And played his game. <laughs> No, I says no. Matt concedes. I concede. Everyone wins. Lord of the Rings does have no story. Yeah, it is just. It is just. <laughs> it is just Frodo get the ring and Frodo yeah, take the ring to Mordor. Yeah, that simplified dumb example is true. <laughs> now be Gorg, Matt. I guess she is. <laughs> oh, fuck. He does two damage. Mad drown. <laughs> <laughs> this drive stream is an allusion to the Lost Woods, and Matt is turning into a Stalfos. <laughs> oh my god. So then you get up, and then you gotta get that angle right. This live stream is the Keurig Washington show now. <laughs> it's the Keurig Washington's run. <laughs> it's not, it's the, it's the Keurig run. It's not my run anymore. I will have to clip that. It's the eyeballs fucking run. Please. Please, Gorg, no. <laughs> He's... I think the, the constant switching's also a pain in the ass. Like, I can't see him half the time. Filler arc in anime is actually the best part of the overall plot. Yes, Owen. Melophon. <laughs> yes. Yes. If that's what it takes to beat Gorg... <laughs> You've met with a terrible fish, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Matt is dead in Majora's Mask playthrough. I... My name is Nicholas. Yes, shout it at the heavens, Nicholas. <laughs> Anything to be Georg. Majora's Mask is a metaphor for Matt's five stages of grief fighting Georg. <laughs> Like, he's fucking so good at beating my ass. Did you play Twilight Princess because Skull Kid leads you to Hero Shade Tomb, a.k.a. Link, the hero of time? Uh, I must be Gorg Melted because I have no idea what the fuck the question said. Did you play Twilight Princess because Skull Kid leads you to Hero Shade Tomb, a.k.a. Link, hero of time? <laughs> uh, I played it because I'm live streamer. <laughs> We did play it. It's a. Uh, we had a lot of discussions about that one as well. Yeah, I'm also not high up on it. Come on, Matt. I still think this is better. Get than... these fish. I think it's better than Twilight Princess. Oh. 
Dude, his mouth is fucking ten times the size of his head! One thousand years later? He's gotta be beatable. I'm glad we had the argument, because this would have been the worst stream of all time without it. <gasps> the worst stream of all time? That we did. Time. Majora's Mask. <laughs> oh! The zero of time. This That's boss me. battle is basically how Sonic 06 makes people go crazy. This is a... All right, more tips. Where Here's the fuck? How do I how do I dodge what I cannot see? All right, use dive uh, to stay. You dive to stay on the ground, and then use the Zora aura while shielding, and the fish should come to you, and you get the free hearts. Okay. If he can make it that far. So I dive to the ground. How does that stop Gorg from eating me? Though? You would just get your hearts and probably be able to tank the hit. Uh. <laughs> oh my god is this is everyone think this fight's easy is this is this just a me thing Save more frequently if you're going to cheat. Cheat big and win without remorse. <laughs> Please get <laughs> potions, says the dude. I can't. I'll run out of time. It's it's 9 o'clock on the final day, and I have to do... I'd have to come back. Actually, it'd probably take like a, like a minute. But it wouldn't take long for you to come back. But then I'd have even less time to do whatever I need to do. I guess I could fight Gorg again if I miss something after the fucking... Do guys like Star Wars or Star Trek? I like Star Trek. Yeah. I liked I liked Star Wars. Um, my love for Star Wars. I seem to recall people hating this fight. I may be biased. I am people. <laughs> there you go. Look at him go, guys. Look at him swim. Matt looks like he likes Star Wars. Or Star <laughs> Trek, my bad. I read it wrong. Probably the next generation, too. Yeah, it's that big big brain he saw. <laughs> <laughs> Matt took off all his hair so his brain gets more air. Like a computer's cooling system. Alright, he's gonna probably hit the side? Yeah. And I can't see him, it means he's about to do some bullshit. Alright, that's the sound of him going down. And you come down, you do one of these, and you get the fuck out. Oh, no, I don't have enough. All right, I'm going to run to the thing in the corner. All right. How much longer is this fight? Oh, it faces me towards him? Okay. Oh, I'm not faster than him either. Okay, well, I need this. And then... Start diving. Can you dive up and out? Wait, how do you do... Okay. There you go. Watch out, though. Okay, that's a sh that's just not gonna happen that way. You did it, I think, at a wrong time. 3DS does have the cooler, better fight. At the very least, it's not... It's... It, might it doesn't feel like this. I remember it not being... I remember it being like a blip in my, my playthrough. Not a not a roadblock. What was the question about three heart challenge? Yeah, right. <laughs> Fuck that. I think that was also um. Gorg ruined my. Rested at Waffle House. Gorg ruined my me wanting to do that ever. Okay, he's gonna hit the side, right? Cause he's low. No, he's gonna do some bullshit. In the end of Majora's Mask, Link saves the Skull Kid and they become best friends and best friends through time. And Twilight Princess is proof of that also. Yeah, afterwards. You were saying beforehand they were friends. And I said no. You should play Breath of the Wild sometime. Uh, 
don't think I have any interest in playing Breath of the Wild ever again. Uh, I'll say Majora's right. Mask has a dog shit story if you buy potions. <laughs> Says the two. No, because it's not about winning or losing the argument. Now it's about, it's about what if I run out of tear. Here's why. If I run out of time because I went and got potions, I have to fight Gorg again. But you'd have, you'd potentially be able to do it the first try. On your new run. All right, I'll get potions after this. Like I can't, I can't go that way. He's too fast. I think what makes him hard is that he's a little, he's like, he's really fast. He's faster than I am swimming. Yeah. So it's really difficult. There they are. There's the pile of fish. Yeah, but there's a bigger fish. <sighs> you wanna try Chelsea? Yeah. Do you wanna switch seats with me? Uh, or you want to just pass the controller back? No, you'd have to sit over here. You should save more. That's the in-between of getting potions. I suspect you can do it, though. You just have to believe in yourself. I don't even need those. <laughs> Into water you go, little no, boy. He's gonna get me, cause he's so fast. You have to land like immediately up. It's like the only way. All right, ready to go. He's gonna do some bullshit. He's gonna either pop out. Hey, there he is. Okay. You sort of see his bubbles. Yeah. No! <laughs> Alright, I got gotcha, you. You little bastard. I think he has it now. Get rid of fire arrows, it conserves your magic. Wait, do regular arrows work? That might have been the key. I'm only using him because it's the first thing I shot that hurt him. Oh, I just want to get more magic! Fucking Gorg, why are you so fast? Do you like Skyward Sword or not? No. He does not like Skyward Sword. Oh, it's over, dude. It's Jover. Oh, I forgot to... Get him! Get him, get him, get him! His <laughs> mouth is fucking 500 times the size of his head. His mouth is massive. His mouth hitbox is so huge. I prefer the quiet streams without all the venting and complaining from anyone from Nexus. Well, sorry. sorry. <laughs> this one was. Oh, a, I prefer boring streams. I'm Nexus. This one was gonna be a, a hot button one anyway, just because of what it is. I don't think anybody who debated me would have preferred we didn't have that debate. I think everybody will enjoyed that. Only Nexus. <laughs> I can finally, we can all agree that Nexus is wrong. <laughs> you can also potentially use your arms to damage him instead of the ramming attack. Yeah, right. Good night, Nicholas. Going to bed. See ya. Like Don't worry, stream. you won't miss anything. Like the stream if you happen. We're gonna be playing this again. Thursday, oh, Thursday. I'll, I'll finish, I'll fight Gorg Thursday. I can do it. Yeah, because better ideas came out of it. Yeah, from Majora's Mask. Fuck! Oh, he's, my angle wasn't perfect. He snatched your ass out. My angle here. wasn't perfect. Do you want me to try? <coughs> no, I'm gonna go get. Just go. Just fly away. Just fly away. I don't even know where to get potions. You guys don't bend the knee, and the people you talk to won't bend the knee. You do the same thing. 
Why should I bend the knee and why should they bend the knee? They don't have to bend the knee. Oof. We don't have to bend the knee. <laughs> it's a debate about... It's a debate about Majora's Mask. Who fuck needs to bend anything <laughs> over it? Alright. I have so little time. I swear to God, if this... These are games that people are very passionate about. So that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get some debate. There's a fairy at the owl statue you can grab. Ooh, that's all I need. Right here. Are you planning on coming back in the same day? Did you bag her already? Oh, oh. Is it, can, we, can you break the rest of those to get the rest of your hearts maybe? Or would that not matter too much? Never mind, they just gave you other stuff. Look, Majora's Mask story is like burger. I like burger, yummy. <laughs> it's like a, it's, you got a burger with just two buns and lettuce in the middle. There's no meat. Stop waving, there's no fucking time, Link. I want my meat and my burger. We gotta get back to Gorg. Oh, you can reload the area to get max fairies. You could have just left and came back again. Dude makes a good point. He does like burger. Shit. Do I need all my fairies? Probably. Do I have enough time still? Look how fast the fucking sun's going. I'm switching sides. Bad game. <laughs> oh, man. The sun's going so fast. I'm going to run out of time. What do I have to do after this? Don't you just... Isn't this the final boss? Yeah, but then I have to do something with the girl, probably. Get your right, bottle I'll out. make sure I win. Chelsea, I'm going to send you something, and I'm going to ask you, will you eat it by your response? <laughs> it's my semen. I will tell you what it is after. It's definitely a semen. How are you going to send me something, but then tell me what it is after? Because it's a semen. It's fresh out of the oven. Ew. I know what this is. It's a gooey, gooey duct, I think. It's one of them weird little snail things. Oh, so you did send her, like, a penis-shaped object. You sent object. me, like, a picture of it. I think it's a gooey duck. That's what they're called. Oh, uh, come it's on. It's either that or it's a... Fairy, come on! Move over! Why are you trying to climb him right there? <laughs> you lost her. It's over. I just wanted two more hearts. Wrong, it's pig intestines. Alright, now I can't lose. I mean, whatever. I'll, I'll try any food once. It is what it takes. It's what it takes. I think he, he has played the inverse uh, Song of Time. Wow, I'm dumb. I didn't know gooey ducks was real. Yes, it's like a weird clam looking thing. It looks like a wiener. No, it was down. Uh, yeah, for some reason, time just felt like super short this round. But it might have been just because uh, I wasn't going. This one isn't. This, this dungeon took me a while. There's a whole band side quest after beating the boss, but it's optional. Might not even have the time. I'd have to do it later. I'd have to beat the boss again. Which, if I come prepared with fucking seven, seven fairies, I won't. I shouldn't have an issue with this boss. Uh, before I even jump in here.
before I even... You can post the food in the food channel if you want. Guess what it's for. Alright, well now I beat it because I got it. Watch Matt turn shit. around and say 3DS Georg is better. Wouldn't trust this man. <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> Damn it. I probably won't like him either way. Because he's a, he's a boss you have to swim a lot for. I know since the 3DS version, everyone thinks that the Zora swimming is fucking god tier, but... You know, I don't want to do it for boss fights. To be honest, those additions we mentioned can be done with modding. It's just adding cutscenes and changing a few things. Probably very easy for people when it's decompiled. The problem is if anyone would. I would probably only, though, really be into it if it was, like... If that version was built off of, like, concept notes from the real devs. It would just feel too much like fan fiction for me to like, get super invested. Ha, la, 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 la. We got a little sidetracked back to the meta at hand. Xanort traveled through time to make sure you could micro transact from your phone. And that's canon. Sora shoots mobile users' ghosts in Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can I skip this? Mm -mm. I just gotta watch Gorg, Gorg. Now he should die. I should be able to tank him. I swear to God, man, if you've got like three fairies. Majora's Mask decomp is close to completion. Damn. Ah, uh, back where I'm comfortable. The Gorg fight. <laughs> Matt, can you try something for me? After you hit him, throw fins at him underwater when he wakes up. That's hard. That's hard because I have to land, and he doesn't stay down very long. That was the, I was initially doing that. Wait, you're fighting Jorg in this stream? Ha. It's, it's only Jorg. That's right, get glitched. If only I had a medium. <laughs> if only I had a medium. Uh, an in between, swim. An in between. If only I had some kind of in between spin. Save on the platform, damn it. <laughs> That's all it says. Oh, you're Up right. here. Save right here. You're right. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Look at the bubbles. The bubbles is the fish. Save on the platform every time. No, because I, I don't need to. He's he needs, dying this round. He's using regular arrows as well. No, I'm not. You should switch to that then if you hit him. Oh, big spooky counter on screen. I know. You're beginning to nod off. He's gonna win. He's almost there. No. Up, up, up. Oh. Use your thing quick. Yeah, oh. he just uh, does it automatically. <coughs> I mean, I say about to. Fucking... Did I, I hit him? you hit him. Yeah, you did. <laughs> it's fine. Whoa. Sneak a peek. <laughs> the Zora... The Zora peen. They stick around for a while. Ew. 
<laughs> oh my fucking He was one God. hit away the whole time. He was one hit away the All entire right. time. I just couldn't do it. In the whole time, one hit. Hey, look. Congratulations. Yeah! Everyone clap for me! Yeah! They have to do it like fish because they lay eggs. Do Zoras do it like humans or fish? That's the question. Uh, lady lays eggs and. One well, of the male Zoras just sperms all over him. Yeah, it's definitely like fish. You're free, the innocent. George Washington was defeated. After several hours, I beat Georg. It turns out all I needed to do was have one more heart. Wow, <laughs> 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 Hey, listen, we want you to lend us your power. If you just leave things as they are, something terrible will happen to this world. Surely you're the only ones who could stop it. That's what Tail was trying to tell us. Is this the same thing they say every time? He, elk, are, for, yeah, and. There we go. There's one. There's a, there's a story tidbit. I get it, we have to help the last one. Then promise us this, you'll cooperate with us? Uh, oh, fuck. Fucking sweet, dude. That was probably the hardest fight in the game. No, I just need one more heart. Now I continue resting in peace. I too must abide the laws of ancient times. And again, merely watch from my deep slumber. You're about to get crushed by a has big he, moon. Has he sleeping with his eyes closed? And he, he says he can watch? Like, what the fuck? But the evil that haunts this land is not completely vanished. Ben's dry. I shall depart after enjoying Lulu's voice a bit longer. You have five minutes. I think the gods can permit that. <laughs> he said he's going to watch from his slumber. Uh... So, you guys want to do a musical number? <clears throat> I don't have much time. I might have to just vanish. If you go back to Zora Hall, I think you can finish the side quest by just talking to somebody. Pleased to meet you, I'm Lulu. Please come to our concert in town. Oh. Don't ignore me turning into your dead boyfriend. Michael, you came back. That's good. I was surprised when my voice turned that lonely island into a turtle. But that song you played for me, my mother used to sing it often long ago. Those eggs were laid to remind me of that. That song from <laughs> when I was a child, when I was very young. I had forgotten it. I put you through some horrible experiences, Mikau. But I'm all better now. Well, the town's concert is very soon. Let's start our rehearsal. They're gonna be late. Even one, a one, a two, a two, a three. Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh. Playing a gig while the world is gonna end is some anime shit. I dig it. <laughs> it also says, Lulu, you didn't turn anything into anything else. That island was just a turtle. You can't <laughs> change shit. <laughs> I guess being able to sing is a wonderful thing after all. Um, all right, what's the next? Now we're ready. I can't wait for the town's concert. You guys are gonna be late. Hey, Mikau, the song I've been wrote sounds 
Like the one we played in our jam session, doesn't it? Uh, anything else I can do? Is it bank some rupees? Let's go look at the moon. See how big it is from here. This song reminds me of uh, Twin Peaks, in part. This whole game is like Twin Peaks. Stop. I can't defend myself. Nice. You see how fast you stood up? Moon. Is there anything else I can do? There's one mini game and that's it. Is it in the Zora's place? I got time. <laughs> I'm cutting it close. These fish drive me nuts. Does anything like happen to the ocean after you beat the boss here? Or like this and Ikana Canyon don't feel like they have a a post boss like change to the world. It's not at the Zora's place. Fuck! Go Where? back. Where is it? Where is it? Just pause for a second. Yeah, I got time, Mr. Incredible. I have... I have so little. I'm still gonna try to bank these rupees. Excellent. Excellently done. Ah, it's a waste of... Two seconds. <laughs> Fuck. Gotta have to watch Twin Peaks again. I watched it in like a fatigue state in 2020. Don't remember much of it, sadly. Uh, season one's good. Season two, less good. But it's a cool. If you want another thing that runs on vibes, mostly. Oh. Twin Peaks is a good one. It's a rocky area. At the beach, it's just a heart piece, though. Is that the one with the pots? Do I need... Does it need to be post Gorg to do that? Run, Tingle! <laughs> You're gonna die! Fly! Fly, you fool! Take your balloon and go! Are you good? Like, did you beat him and you're good? You got his stuff? I might have. I mean, I guess if there's something else, I could come back, like, on a different stream and fight Gorg again when I'm not. You picked up his mask, right? I'm not mad at him. <laughs> Yeah, I got him. All right, you're good then, right? Gorg's chilling there. All right, I'll have to come. I'll have to fight him in some other time. He's actually pretty short when you uh, when you have one more heart than I had. If you watch the moon, does it actually move in the sky at this yes. point? Yes. It will get it. I remember when I was younger, I would try to get the the camera to lock in place and then watch it like move the pixels as it went down slowly. I don't know if it does it here, but throughout the whole game, it moves the whole time. It's moving. If you look, you if probably you can't tell it, bit. but the, the aliasing on the nose is adjusting slightly as he moves very slowly. Go bank your monies. Yeah, it's money banking time. That's probably my favorite little detail. Is that he moves? It always yeah, it's always moving. I mean he's really close right now. It was easier to see when it's in lower res because you can really see the the edge the edge the anti aliasing. You can help thing. the fairy at Snowhead for more magic. Uh, that'll be a future thing. The future. Yes. Boom, boom. 
there anything else I can do in the last three minutes? <laughs> or is it time, it's time to finally go back? I don't think you can. The we can enjoy the... Related. After the big argument, we can enjoy the vibes. Because it does do that really well. The impending doom vibes? Yeah. This is its strength. This is what it does really good. <clears throat> Big ass moon. All right, let's see if I can see it moving. Yeah, if you look at the very edge, you can see the aliasing adjusting slightly. It's ever so slightly <laughs> shifting, pixel by pixel. Like, yeah, the, the whole corner now is completely out of the. It's taking by up the, the flags. whole thing. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, it's time to go back. There's nothing else to do. Okay, Darkly says, I still defend this game to my dying breath, but to give you guys credit where I've argued for it, I've never felt that it, that I was pushed to think because the arguments I had had no substance. You guys made me think of better ideas. <laughs> Good, we're all stronger. Thank you, we're all better. I still like this game more than most of the Zelda games, by the way. <laughs> I know I argued really hard against it, but I like it more than... I still like it more than um, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, probably the two, some of the 2D ones. Do all the races have different sounds for their walks? There's this weird whisper tone with the Zora walk that I didn't notice with the little boy walk. The quickest way of the canyon is through the East Gate. I think they do. He has like a whoosh, 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 whoosh kind of noise. Let's go check out the canyon. The Goron, I don't think, does. I think he has a different walk completely, which is nice. Oh, I definitely do get, a, a, admittedly, a little passionate. But yeah. Or carried away, rather. No, I don't care. I don't hold it against anyone who called me stupid or dumb or no, an idiot. We don't. <laughs> I don't care. I was having the time of my life. I love fucking. It's a. Uh, it is fun. Um, I do. I do. It's not that I don't think the things I think. I do think that. Um, I do think that this one. Um, this is still my third favorite Zelda. It's very little going on. I actually don't have a favorite Zelda. I wouldn't even really consider myself a Zelda fan. I do play them occasionally when they come out. Shit. But I don't really have, like, you'd think I'd be uh, more attached to Twilight Princess, because that was the first one I played. And I'm not really. Now, how does she fit? Why don't she jump the fence before she hears the song? Continuity error, I guess. And why did Link forget his song <laughs> that he knew already? But whatever, I don't care. All right. We can check out Iconic Canyon. I guess this whole stream is going to be... Well, I mean, it was the epic debate, but, uh... It was the York fight, basically. They made Breath of the Wild for me. It's not perfect, but it's my favorite from Kaza. Uh, my order for all of them is probably Ocarina on top, Wind Waker, this one. Um, probably, probably Tears of the Kingdom... Then Breath of the Wild, then Twilight Princess, and then... No, I might put Twilight Princess above. <laughs> I don't know where Twilight Princess is exactly. I didn't. I don't hate it. I think it has a lot of good dungeons. So maybe maybe it's Twilight Princess, then Bre then Tears, then Breath, and then Skyward's, then Big Gap, and then Skyward Sword. Uh -huh. Gucci Gamer says, first Zelda was Phantom Hourglass, and for that reason, I will die on any hill that defends it with, like, a smoke coming out of an emoji <laughs> face. Uh, you're going to have to whip out some real good arguments for the, the, you know what I'm about to bring up, the fucking Ocean King thing. Now, I haven't played it in a while, but the Ocean King Palace thing did get me to quit the game. So, you don't have to come up with them now, but if we ever do it... If we ever do, uh, if we ever get to that one. You better fucking be there. You better have your fucking best argument. 
uh, you Mr. Get your... Mr. Die on any hill. <laughs> Vessel that holds the wandering spirits rests here. Is there a bottle here? Is that what he's talking about? Now we're late in the game. This is probably stuff that I'm not as familiar with. Melifant says I'd cuddle with Cass from Breath of the Wild. Why are you moving like shit? Why Dompe? Bro, oh, is it because it's slowed down time? Probably. He's heading to where he needs to oh, go. He's really, really affected by the inverted song of time. <laughs> Sorry, man. I never played... Oh, wait, wait. I think the only thing that would give you a hint to how to get to the Icona is probably a Gossip Stone, because I really don't know how at first a first timer would get some of the stuff coming up. Uh, well, I don't remember this stuff, so we'll find out live Thursday when I do it. Mm -hmm. My face is frightening, but I'm not a bad person. All the graves here belong to the family members of the king of a... Sometimes it's also like an NPC says something, then you forgot that that NPC said anything. Because you just know it now, so you never talk to the NPCs. Place uh, this is for Phantom mountains. Hourglass, then. Even nowadays, the ghosts come out at night. It's frightening graveyard. It gets too much hate. I enjoy going back and acting like I'm speedrunning it. You ever played Neon White? I treat the Ocean King Temple like that. Um, I think it got me because... You get you run out of time. The first time you run out of time is the most devastating feeling ever. Mm -hmm. And I went, well, I'll play it later. Um, I'm not. I'm done for now. I'll play it later. And then you never came back. And then I never came back. I don't mind the controls though. I think people that hate on the controls are dumb. I think the controls actually feel surprisingly great, and I think people need to be more open-minded. Um, I thought it actually it felt really good. On Ocarina of Time, why does the Fish King scoot over so slowly? It's a little funny, but also aggravating. Because <laughs> uh, Miyamoto thought it was funny, I guess. Yeah. Uh, if you get Ship of Harkinian, the PC version, you can speed that up. I know you have to wake this guy up. Can't, don't you have Awakening Song? Oh, do you think I use it? It's called the Awakening Song. Also, with decent exploration, you get enough sand and have plenty of time to fully explore it. I think it's the first one, the green one. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, you eked it out at the end there. They give you a lot of time also between notes to nail it. Oh, there you go. Oh shit, now what? And chase his ass down. Who put these in? Maybe I'll give it a go sometime soon, or soonish at least. Use the bunny hood. Oh, you're right. I'm pretty tired after the Gorg fight. <laughs> it's a long fight, dude. I'm just checking out this area because it's been a while. Fuck. I didn't make it in time. Can I even catch me? Th that must be all the strength you have. Oh, he hates me. Am I just fucked? But I have to restart. Because I want to get that. Oh, you can shoot him with arrows and it'll stun him as well. Okay, I'll do all that stuff next time. Now you have to restart. This graveyard ain't as good as the Kakariko one. I guess this whole place is like a graveyard, though. So all added up, like maybe it counts as better. Whose decision was it to have a hundred birds talking to each other in there? Um, you know what? I might be able to get the bomb <laughs> mask. 
Reload back to the Georg fight. I barely recognize this game outside of that room. <laughs> <laughs> Before you reset, you should go back to the Gorm Gorman brothers with Epona. See, I've, I'm even talking about Gorm when I'm not supposed to be. It gives you the mask that lets you reach up the ledge. Actually, maybe save over the Georg boss fight. Just in case. <laughs> Oh, I would suck if I accidentally loaded it, and I'm just constantly looping back to the Georg fight. Oh, there's a guy up there. Hey, mister. Yee hee, what are you doing in a place like this? That kind of hill beyond here is the place where the spirits with troubles and lingering regrets wander. Even now, the spirits wander in search of one who can save them. It is unfortunate, but it is no place for one such as you. But if you must enter, then you must obtain the mask containing wandering spirits that can be found near the ranch. Without that mask, you cannot save their souls. Until then, I will not let you pass by here. <laughs> so that's what you're talking about? To the ranch! To the ranch! Fucking shot out of. All right, let me try this again properly. Come on, me, Pona, work with me. Dude, she just fucking doesn't give a goddamn. She doesn't give a single shit about it's being your blown up. Horse, dude. I'm headed to the ranch. <laughs> doo, 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 doo. Oh, Epona. You took fucking ten bombs of the face with that little root. <laughs> Stopped you. Stopped you in your tracks. I don't like that bird up there. He frightens me. That pathetic thing, your horse? I would have guessed that little thing was a mule for sure. I am, ain't that right, little brother? Do you think that horse is pathetic? I got it. Just, just, it's a race, isn't it? This guy's funny. Why don't you give us 10 rupees for a chance to race against us? If you win, we'll give you something nice, kid. Do I have it? It's a simple race. Just go once around the track. If you can beat it to the finish line, you win. I should be asleep right now, but don't want to go to bed. But I have school tomorrow. Go to bed. I'm not doing anything special anymore. You should absolutely go to bed. Nothing cool is happening. Uh, not going to bed doesn't make school still not come <laughs> tomorrow. I won't. Um, school I'm comes not, either way. I'm not doing anything important. I'm probably just going to do this race, and then and then we're, we're done for tonight. If you want to keep watching, though, you can tune in on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday we'll continue the... the I'll probably think of something else to argue about. Yeah. Chelsea totally had a good like, one this this stream. Fuck yeah. I'll come dude. up with something else I don't like about this game so we can argue <laughs> for fucking 40 minutes. You should definitely go to sleep. <laughs> Did you know the Gorman brothers are based off of brothers in an interview Miyamoto said lol but refused to elaborate <laughs> <laughs> what's the secret <laughs> go opponent fuck it pull out no she can't do it you didn't time it right Oh, I got robbed. Did you know Miyamoto laughed at the interviewer? He refused to elaborate. Oh, look at their victory dance. Oh, they're mocking me. If you like what I like how again. they stand like pigeon toed feet together. Maybe I won't be getting this tonight. 
The horses are so much bigger than yours. They should absolutely be smoking you. <laughs> they are, though. They are kind of fucked. <laughs> Give me my carrots. You let them go to waste, dude. Bona has a good personality. What are you talking about? <laughs> she won't jump. What race do you prefer? This one or the Ocarina of Time one? I mean, this one has more going on. You better get fucking whacking her. Go! Get whacked! Go! Oh, damn. This one's, uh, this one's more in-depth. Different trees and shit in the way. The other one was just kind of I can't of believe we lost. Big bro. I wonder if we can give the, that to this guy. <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't pronounce it. We gotta give him something. Well, he's a kid. So what could he do with it? It should be fine. You got that creepy mask? The wandering ninja spirits who appear at a kind of once... They wear this when you, uh... You're doing the milk mission. Yeah, they're wearing these. In exchange, you can't tell anyone where you got this. You rob the Gorman Brothers' noses in it, or rubbed. I am too tired to continue to be coherent. We wouldn't even be able to have a debate right now. No. <clears throat> Everyone wins. You have your bunny hood on, silly goose. There we go, I did it. Well, actually, let me. Oh, you can't. Ew. That's the end of the stream. <coughs> like, comment. I like how there's a random subscribe. hill building hiding behind like, the hill from the rice tracks. Comment and. We have a Discord. There's a Discord out, in the linked. Out, what is it called? A link tree rock. link in the description. Out, out. Um, we're streaming this again on Thursday, so subscribe and stuff when you should get a notification and things like that. All right, I'm ending the stream. Thanks for watching. Thanks for debating. And bye bye.